<laughs> Vertical Tango. Hello there. Hello. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I guess we're not doing this. I love I mean, you guys gave me the go ahead. I did <laughs> shit, I'll be honest. Yeah, we I'll were, give you head. We were, we were I said nothing. Okay. Things. We were being bad men. Oh, no, you were bad men. I would say I'm disappointed, but I agree. Okay, fools, I'm almost on my laptop. <laughs> okay, Who first we nudge, now we're fools. Come on, bro. Fine, you fools. Fucked up. Anyway. Um, oh my God, hey, guys. Welcome to Dungeon Select. We're here. Oh. It's, uh, it's that time again. It's Sunday. That's good. Did we're you know Sunday? Me? I broke, Greg. I've got COVID. <laughs> nice. I could go do yeah. a test right now. I'd still be positive. I bet. My, yeah. I, Does that mean that we need to test because we're in a car together? You're so funny. Yes. I got a computer virus. Did I get it from you? Can we just kick him? Uh, and on that note, I'd like to announce my resignation from Dungeon Select. Yeah. 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 Again. To resign from two things. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. So hey, it's Sunday. Longer this time. We're here. Uh, gang's all here. Mine is Bell. Hopefully, Bell will be uh, joining us again soon. Um, but the rest of us are all here. Speak for yourself. <laughs> That'd be nice. All right, I'm trying to be nice. What's, what's, what's the problem? Um, I miss bullying, Bill. But yeah, yeah, same, dude. Same. But uh, today's sesh should be interesting. There's a the party has some choices to make. Uh, first things first, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. Um, before we start, are there any announcements? Share something with the class. It's Spooktober, baby! It is Spooktober. Means uh, scary games and scary movies, and also our annual watching of uh, Over the Garden Wall in my Discord. So, Let's you know, go! If you fuck with that, if you fuck with Elijah Wood being a little, a little guy. There's and an I'm not Over talking the about Garden Lord of the Wall Rings. tabletop RPG. Uh, okay. Work Noted. permitting. Mm -hmm. Do we all fancy doing, like, if I dig up a, a Halloween themed one shot for uh, yes. I mean, yes. a Tuesday yeah. evening? On a Tuesday? Fuck yeah. Uh, I can dig some shit up. We could what? we could potentially do uh, Hellboy well, or... I was thinking, I was going to throw the same oh, thing in the group, uh, doing something Halloween-y, but just on that Sunday, the Sunday before Halloween, just instead of a normal sesh, we just do a Halloween themed one shot or something. Do it. But if you want to run that, uh, Beanie, by all means. Well, do I want to, or do I want to give you the opportunity to be a player? Because those are two very different things. Because ah. DMing for this lot, like, I can... Uh, my boy needs therapy. I struggled <laughs> to do it for, like, a couple of sessions. I've been doing it for five years. I know. No, uh, yeah, but I you're gonna... already unhinged. You know? <laughs> no, yeah, I was gonna we'll, talk. Ask we'll figure it out. If uh, the peeps here would be interested in a Halloween one-shot the weekend of... Uh, Halloween. If you did it we on that Sunday, it's not confirmed for me yet, but that is potentially when I was talking about that Halloween party where I was going to wear my costume too earlier. Yeah, it's I mean, on that day, so I might not be able to make it, but somewhat that means we could get a guest person to take my spot, share the, the love yeah, if I'm we'll not see. around. Um, but yeah, Beanie, if you want to if you want to run that. Uh... We, I mean, we could do both. Like an actual Halloween night fucking one shot. Yeah. We'll figure it out. There'll be Halloween themed content on the channel. Yes. If I was less committed to tabletop things uh, in October, I would offer to run my first uh, Oops All Dracula's game for October, but I don't know if I'll have time realistically to prep something. So it's all my fault. I don't <laughs> think I've played with Laura as a DM yet. So. I no, am not you, either. It's not worth the... it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, excuse you. How dare you? Whoa. Bye. Whoa. Uh, wait, Abby, you live in the Netherlands now? You, you moved in with, uh, OSG? That's fucking wholesome shit. Netherlands, toch. Yeah, they were moving in the weekend I visited, assholes. Shit. Congrats, that's fucking awesome. That is actually nuts, dude. I'm so jealous. Imagine getting so off cool. this shit rock and then going and living <laughs> in the Netherlands. That's crazy. You, you're living out Duke Street right now. <laughs> I'm well, not living with OSG, but the rest if of the If the language bro. wasn't so fucking hard, I'd do it too. I still Dude, they all think... speak English, not to be like that fucking gentrified English tourist ass motherfucker, but like they all speak English. Like, it... I still think Duke should move to Canada and then I have some more NA representation going on here. <laughs> we have plenty of NA representation, especially with Briar fucking. We never have enough. But Briar's a guest. Briar will eventually leave. Yeah, this, this, oh, thank the, God. Depending on the choices you <laughs> make, wow, this, wow, could wow. Be, this could be Briar's last one. Listen, let's not talk about that. 
Let's this could go. be all of our last one. Let's I'm in go. denial. <laughs> Um, place in the... But yeah, um, it's so... okay. Jax will die this episode, and okay. then I'll take his. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's um, but yeah, so uh, Halloween like content that. towards the end of the month. At some point, we'll, we'll we'll figure out the logistics, and then we'll announce it next next Sunday or something. Um, anyone else? Anything else? Any announcements? Anything? Um, not so much to announce it, but just a heads up. Uh, for I'm still sick, so if I if my brain's taking longer to do things like math or process, and if I sound funny, that's why I'm still not feeling great. <laughs> Uh, we recorded our first episode of Candela Obscura on Friday, and Ooh. it'll be up on my Briarheart RPG channel on Tuesday at 7 Pacific. Ooh. And then for future episodes, I'll get to join in, but yeah. I was, too, I was <laughs> too, literally too sick to play that night, so <laughs> my character is coming in later. I haven't seen that Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> <laughs> Got too, too sick to too play. To play. <laughs> <laughs> um, sick with two Cs. Yes. Uh, are we bringing back uh, Baldur's Gate tomorrow, boys? Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, other than that, I do want to do like a group discourse this week with like as many of, as the uh, the main cast as uh, as, as possible uh, to you know talk about our five years of doing the shit and uh, and all that and also kind of go over. I mean, we'll also talk about, you know, the, the last arc. The, the, the beginning will probably be the majority of us just talking about, like, five years. Yes, well, uh, the future, all that shit. And then we'll also reserve a time slot to talk about, you know, the last few sessions. Yet. Um, so, Briar, if you want to, you know, that as well. You are welcome. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Um, I think what day would work best for, like, all of us. Should we? Hmm. For me, it would have to be monday tuesday or friday because i'm out of my house wednesday and thursday but if there's if, it, if uh, the, either wednesday or thursday works better for the rest of the group that's fine. friday probably works best for me too i don't know how friday, i mean any day, friday, any day friday is the work. same for me hold on let me look at my schedule yeah, every, every day is the same for me when it comes to my only that. days that i have anything at all is uh mondays and tuesdays so thursday and tuesday are probably the only two days i can make that Really. Or Saturday, but um, hmm. Well, if the rest can do Friday, then Soko, would you mind sitting out? That's fine. I... Just one more step. I, I won't feel hurt. Well. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. If Jack um, dies today, I'm out, dude. Like if the rest can do Friday, <laughs> and that's probably the only day this week for me that will work because I have a lot of shit. Uh, I've like my next weekend's completely fully booked and like I'm busy doing shit Tuesday and Thursday as well. So. Yeah, cause you're thinking like regular DS start time, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, Friday. Uh, going once, going twice. Darb. Sure. Cool. All right. Sure. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll do that this Friday. Um. Let's see, I'm starting a new job tomorrow, so you, you'll hear, well, I'm getting training, so like the first two weeks aren't really doing the job, it's just me getting told how to do the job. Uh, you know, I don't know, see if I hate it, or the idea of it, or not, so I'll find out next week, I guess. Um, dude, and I quit my job, up dude. top. Oh, you went for it, okay, okay. Um, anything else? Anything, anyone, going once? Twice. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, how can we stall? Well, I have. I'll give more details closer to the actual stream, but I have my first ever like full-on sponsored stream coming up. Oh so shit! Cool. Laura made it more big. Yo, soon. teaser. Fancy teaser. I just keep getting uh, emails from Stream Elements saying that I could play. No, Rage not, Shadow not, Legends. not one I'm of like, those. What the fuck is this? What not is this? Feels like a scam. <laughs> It is. Uh, a game that I have been looking at for a while at trying anyway. Uh, devs reached out and were like, how about we that. pay you to play it on stream? And I'm like, that works. So yeah, that's not sick. I'm excited. Can you tell oh, yeah. what it is? Uh, yes, it's a game that is already released, but they're celebrating its release on Steam. Uh, and it's going to be on sale on Steam. I believe it's been like oh. a console game up till now, like Switch and other stuff. It's in the, like, cozy game genre. If it's what I'm thinking, it has been on 
steam as well, I think. Well, what is it? What is it? I don't know. I'm, I'm like just looking up like the least as What is this ultimate but... teaser right now? <laughs> it's exactly that. An ultimate teaser. It says you are helping us promote the redacted Steam launch. So it oh, is you can't. Steam. You really you won't. You can't or you won't say. I don't think I I can't. But this way I make you have to come watch the stream. Oh, because you want to know what a game it is. <laughs> oh, I wish I could up. play sound effects in this channel. Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I would play, dude. I got the best soundboard clip. Oh, this guy stick. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> brother no um, it's that clever soul going dude this streamer shills constantly or whatever the fuck <laughs> okay uh Quim, are you snacking today or uh i mean i'm depression eating a fucking jar of crunchy chocolate spreads you know let's go <laughs> with is anything in it okay, or are you just man. spooning it no clearly not is it just sephora <laughs> you're gonna die <laughs> Like, I fucking hope so. Let's go, <laughs> Whoa! Do you need someone to buy you like food, Koiba? Like, are you okay? I'm fully good, bro. Have you got money? Ethan, Ethan like, can always get are you, you another. Are you McDonald's eating enough? Order. Are you Ethan looking after yourself? If anything, Ethan, I'm eating far too much. Let's let's go, fucking. <laughs> Yo, I'll come down. We'll go to the gym together. Fucking Jim is the guy at the chip shop. I don't need anyone else. That's right? a long way to go to go to the gym. Okay. No, right? It's like fucking. I mean, I'm gonna fuck him after, but. So two minutes down the fucking road, I can't be fucked to walk there. Shit. The bars have today, but not in the good way. Oh, is it COVID? Because then, you know. Oh no! On top of Duke, because oh, he's also got COVID. So. I haven't tested to see if my what I have is COVID, but it's been pretty mild. It's only bad because it's compounded with my chronic fatigue. So I don't think I think I just have a regular cold, but I'm too afraid worse. to take a test. I'm so I idea. listen. I the three times or whatever in the past two years that I was a little sick and I was like, dude, maybe this is it. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Okay, so, that so first pretty, week of COVID, you'll fucking are. know. Holy yeah. shit! Imagine catching COVID. Like, immunocompromised and stuff. I feel like you'll know when you have COVID. Well, that's, that's part of why I'm so terrified. To uh, my, I had like a forty degree fever. It okay, was a, yeah. a bad time. I probably just have mm. a cold. Right. Anything that we want to say before we get into <laughs> no. today's? Um, Soko stinks. Soko stinks. Soko stinks. Soko smells. Soko stinks. Why does he have an inflatable chair on a table? Sorry, it's a I pool floaty. I did. I just, yeah. What is what I just, up with that? Yo, doesn't he live somewhere where maybe he couldn't afford a sex right? swing? He's using that to like sit on. <laughs> he couldn't afford a sex swing. <laughs> that would Dude. in no way serve even like half the same purpose as a sex swing. Until you Ethan, find out that it's got a hole up. in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Okay, not to be that guy that explains a TikTok, but I saw this fucking TikTok, dude. Oh, and God. this girl, he she goes, tells me to shut up. She goes, she goes, she goes. Oh, uh, sorry, I just got back from, and you just hear this voice off camera go, "Shut the fuck up!" And it's so <laughs> fucking funny, dude. All right. So, last we left off, the party ventured into Castle Ravenloft explore find the final piece they needed the final artifact that they needed to um stand a chance against uh strad uh which they did the uh amulet's holy symbol of ravenkind holy symbol of raven i keep calling yes. it amulet but it's the holy symbol of ravenkind uh, which you found deep in the crypts before you were able to freely explore um the castle proper um you found this chapel area which is how you entered the castle and and there was this it's like small statuette of some kind of deity uh, belonging to a dead religion um that seemingly was the only untainted thing in that entire chamber uh in front of it you saw this like mangled skeleton reaching out to it but completely just like dehydrated dead beginning to decompose um, you then got kind of guided to a dining hall where this, you don't know if it was actually was Strahd or a mere illusion of him, um, bit of a, bit of a streak, uh, a bit of a streak, I'd fucking, reading something, bro, I think I just had a fucking aneurysm, um, Whoa. I'm good, <laughs> uh, then a bit of a, bit of a speech about, uh, you know, the very, very, 
confident in that uh, he is going to succeed and best you because there's been so many groups of supposed heroes that came before you and he's convinced that he won't be the last bit um, of a streak bit of a streak uh, he's, on fucking winning streak, bro. <laughs> uh, he's on a win streak no um after that uh all the lights in the in the in the castle died all the doors got shut you heard the, you heard the the drawbridge being pulled up you are now stuck on this like piece of rock that has the castle on it nowhere to go and you also know that um strad will be awaiting you on the overlook which you found out is on the ground floor it's outside it is an overlook in a sense that it looks over the town of barovia down under this tall mountain that its castle is uh, uh standing on um you are currently down in the crypts you've done some exploring you found or well um brooks accidentally found where strad's coffin is which is a pretty important thing to know about when trying to kill a vampire permanently um but you are still down in the crypts you know where to go but you could also decide to mosey about the castle a bit more and potentially find some more things that could aid you in battle or could tap you out of resources a little more it's a uh, very much a double-edged sword or you could choose to just take the fight to strad right away uh with that said you are all down in the crypts what would you like to do uh did we short rest or are we about to short rest you didn't we were, but you could choose to we were going or it was for like me to attune purposes the plan was to short rest in the chapel since that's yes, like the safe room I and could then remember while where we were we, short like... resting we would decide are we exploring further yeah. or are we going right to i could remember what we uh if we decided or we just talked about this is what we'll do that's fine cool then i will fucking so we're gonna go to the chapel to you know have a quick quick stop yeah, yeah it doesn't sound like a bad idea sounds like we're still undecided as to what we're our next <sighs> step is anyway so hmm. Hmm. But, but we've got a bit of time to decide we can try and figure this out and i'll start to go back up the uh stars okay um so as you follow this like entire staircase up eventually it does continue up and you reach where the chapel area is but uh assuming you uh you you get off the stairs on the ground floor level yeah, you get this chapel and again this this chapel i'll, I'll show it on, on hill spire for the sake of Bit of a mess, is it? Yeah, it's completely. Uh, oh, you weren't there last time when I gave you like a proper description of the chapels. So let me just mm -hmm. uh, set the scene for you, shall I? Uh, find the notes that I have on it. Hold on. Do, 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 do. button that i think might also be a hotkey in obs so i'm not only gonna like really quick check make sure okay we're good we're good we're good don't worry about it guys we're good <clears throat> guys we're good we are good we're still good we're still good are we good we're good uh so you see in this chapel uh dim colored lights filtering through the tall broken and boarded up windows of stained glass illuminating this ancient chapel of ravenloft few bats fluttering about near the top of the 90 foot high domed ceiling uh, a balcony runs the length of the west wall 50 feet above the floor in the center of the balcony uh, two dark shapes are slumped in tall chairs and when one of you went to check it out they were very much dead uh, benches right. coated with centuries of dust lie about the floor in jumbled disarray beyond this debris uh, lit by a piercing shaft of light an altar stands upon a stone platform the sides of the altar are carved with um, like reliefs of angelic figures entwined with grapevines. The light from above falls directly on a silver statuette. A cloaked figure um, is kind of like draped in front of the altar. A black mace that he had, but Jax had since uh, picked up, uh, lies on the floor near his feet. 
so there's in this chapel there's a small like small statuette on a pedestal one mangled dead person in front of it kind of like reaching for it and then two equally mangled dead people uh, on like a balcony inside this room 50 and the statue gives you warm fuzzy feelings we did we, we tested mm. you hug so the statue, like it feels nice unless you're brooks Unless Metaphysically, I guess, does this place feel like sanctuary? Yeah, we all got a vibe that felt like this yeah. is the one not bad right. place in this whole. Due to, and you found something else, if I remember correctly, that kind of had similar, uh, similar. Good vibes. Reliefs, like engravings uh, oh. of like mm -hmm. the, the 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 vines and stuff, and I think it was Lazarin that made the connection to. Whatever religion this was, this was what um, Saint Andrew worshipped when he when 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 they were still alive. Do we know why it's still here? If it's a you have no you idea, know, but this statue a haven fills, from the place that it exists the within, with like the only sense of safety sanctuary uh, that you like. This is the safest you felt in all of Barovia. Barovia. Hmm. It just happens yeah, to um, in Strahd's domain, in Strahd's casting. Before we, like, short rest, I'm going to use my Harness Divine Power to get a second level spell slot back. Okay. And then, I, so that uses up all my Charm Divinities, but then I'll get that back on short rest. So. Okay. Good. Yeah. You guys want to short rest and use some hit dice, attune to something, or, yes, or I would some like other to... light activities? Uh, um, let's go for I, yeah. I will you. let the group know um, if there is anything like magical that we think we want to use, but no one else has room for. I can spend the hour absorbing its enchantment, mm -hmm. basically. But I don't. I, other than that, I don't have anything else I would be doing over the short rest. Would you like to know all the things I have that you could want? <laughs> well, only ones that you're that you're, I guess, are up for. You know, grabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, no, I'm saving that for this or something. Yep. Like. <laughs> okay. So right now, I am currently not using a dragon vessel of stirring, a ring of evasion, a luck blade short sword. I think. Mm. Uh, the mace of terror. Uh. That, that that blade. I don't think you had identified. No, but I was going to identify it in stress. Sorry. I have. Two things to identify, and then... Nah, and then the only thing it. that's kind of tempting is the Ring of Evasion, but I don't think... Because most of the time, I'll hopefully be hiding behind one of you guys, so... <laughs> it's fine, then. Sure. Aranya is doing a lot of pacing, and... <laughs> like... They're very in their own world. I mean, for Aranya, this is this is the end game. This is, this, is, this, is, yeah. okay, this is the end game, yeah, exactly. This is the closest they've made it. It is. <laughs> Just have a. And... Oh. Oh. Be, uh, tokens there, uh, so I don't have to drag them. What up. I will do. Uh. Yeah, actually, no. Uh, how is everyone for healing potions? Just healing potions. I don't think Aranya has any. I have one greater and three regular. I've got uh, two yeah, regular. I mean, has... I've got two regular. Two scrolls of mass healing word. Dutch. Hello. When we did the whole uh, retcon cast leaving with blue thing, we also, in doing so, retcon the quick of she took me back for one trip into her vessel to get anything from my body because I got the meerkat plushie yeah. out of there. Uh, that's what to do. Could we also say the only other thing I grabbed was my journal, just so that while Kess is gone, I can still write things in my yeah, character course, journal. Course, course. And I'll just, again, either, and Jax, is, if he doesn't mind, can hold on to it for me. Hold on to what? Sorry. My, my journal. journal. It's small. It can go in the bag. Yes. The whole thing, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, then during the short rest, I'll be using my, you see me sitting in a corner with the journal on the floor in front of me and me like miming writing with my ghost hand, but using my mage hand spell that I can cast at will nice. to actually make a quill right in the journal. Cause I can't write in it. Sick. Brooks, what's oh your God. potion situation like? I'm fine. Not just asking how many you had. I, I've got loads, I'm fine. 
Well, yeah, I mean, he drinks fucking alcohol, yeah, and it's good for him, and he's got plenty of that. Uh, I will, um... I have no potions, by the way. Yeah, well, while we're resting then, I'll use the cloak, and I'll take off the three patches of healing potions that I have. Oh, good shout. And uh, like I superior will give all... They're just regular. They are just straight regular healing potions. Normal but ones. I'll I give all three. Fringe. I'll give all three to Jax. Ooh. So I've got plenty. Sick. Uh, and then wait. Was... Arania. Arania has. Did Arania... How many? How many did Arania say they had? What healing potions? Yeah. yeah. Zero. Oh, I will okay. give. I will give two to Arania and one to Jax. No, no. <laughs> that that makes more give sense. Yeah, give yeah, three to Jax. Sense. I will no, no, give fine. three basic potions to Arania. Well, oh, okay. say, I, yeah, I have go. the scrolls of healing masculine word too, so it's like basically. I cool. will give three basic potions. To okay, that's cool. Okay. Also, and those are the two D four plus two ones, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Um, I will ask a Lazarin if once oh. we, if we decide as a group we are going to Strahd, if it's cool, if I'm hitchhiking with him for the start of the encounter, probably. Has it been 24 hours since you lost? Yeah, the only one, me? the only one I can't uh, possess right now is Brooks. Okay. Which is fine. Hitchhike given, with me at some point. Yeah. Given Brooks's trauma right now, I probably like Dagon wouldn't want to anyway. There's no, yeah. there's no, go, no knowing how oh. you take that. So. Um, <laughs> I was like, that's fine, but do know that I'm probably going to be quite the target for Strahd. That well, that's the point. Oh, I can help. I see. Oh. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'll take all the help I can. <laughs> okay. I will also. Whilst I'm still just like Wait, vibing and tuning. Really fucked. Just realized. Huh? Seen that I'll just keep going. I'll quickly fix scanners. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's it's a little. No, it's a little screwy. It's a little. Hello, screwy. I will also. Uh, yeah. Am I really gonna fucking doom this? Yeah. Fuck it. We need all the help we can get. I will also take off the three patches of two mastiffs that I have. Oh, <gasps> doggies. So we're gonna have six um, fucking six. dogs. We have six dogs <laughs> with us. Oh, as well. poor Dutch. Doggies. My dude, <laughs> like summoning them furiously. Right now. Yes, sir. Because they're here. My dude's fucking just gonna be like furiously grabbing fucking. Uh, We're gonna have a pack chickens. of doggies. They're happen. all cannon fodder, baby. <laughs> like a last Yep. <laughs> Don't look at me. Look at the dogs. Don't look at me. Look um, at the dogs. <laughs> yep. I found the thing that summons four ghouls in uh, Baldur's Gate. Nice. Oh, I summon them at the top of every day because they are my For the sake of <laughs> them not looking like Onu tokens, I'm just gonna make them fucking pugs, dude, and you have to deal with it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah. That's way <laughs> cuter, honestly. How big are the mastiffs? Yeah, mastiff size? Mastiff are medium. D&D &D Like they're an actual creature. They are. Yeah, so I'm a mastiff D and D five E. They are medium beast. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh. Wait, I you only summon two or six? Oh, I'm summoning six. You're summoning six. But what? Yeah, yeah he, he has all three patches. patches. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Sorry, Dutch. <laughs> you could always just summon three and assume they're moving in pairs just to save room yeah. on the that's map. To, I, I mean, guess that's not he, technically accurate. They go on your turn or do they have separate initiative? <laughs> it just summons them, right? Like It, it just specify. summons some fucking dogs. My guy just says just... Mastiff. Just to just make your life easier, too. I make them go after I would make them yeah. immediately after him, then yeah. I'll say yeah. that they go right after you, yeah. Yeah, just combat. make your life easier. <laughs> um, it's fine, guys. They've got a, they've got a hit points of twelve and f no hit points of five. Sorry, an arm class of twelve. So you've just given him on. six Capri Suns. Dude, dude, yeah. <laughs> just call it a Capri Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah Capri. That's what we call it. Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Yeah, yeah like the, like, the, like the jeans that you like those jeans that are Capris. You know? A Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Yeah. Lacroix. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Wall. Uh, so you have my dogs at your disposal. I have an <laughs> <laughs> You guys know how much health fucking Onu has? A billion. Bro's well, got fucking 35 health. Dude, he is. Just Jesus Christ, he's, he's almost got more than Dike. And, and an AC of 17. Like, brother he has better AC than me. He's a, he's a baller. <laughs> Onu's got more. It's easier to hit the ghost than it is to hit Onu. Is there anything else anyone wants to do on their short rest? Yeah. Uh, number one, I would like to make attempts to conceal the stake that I have made. Conceal, don't feel, make don't let them check. know. A sleight of hand check? <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, well, now check. they know. Wait, one second. 
Uh, it, that's what it all fucking uh, I have a disadvantage on this. Yep. Open up the gate. Slight of hand here. to dirty 20. Dirty 20? I got yeah, 16 I mean, you... out of 12. Conceal said take. I don't know how well concealed it is, but I guess we find out. Dude, I'm strapped with stakes and holy water or some shit, like, uh, across my fucking chest. I <laughs> am going like to... Helsing. Yeah, he is full Van Helsing. Like, yeah. Two crossbows. Yeah. Dude, we should have got you a hat. Bandoliers, Bandoliers of yeah. stakes and fucking holy Damn it, water. he doesn't have the hat, bro. I'm going to give my holy all to Aranya. For me? Holy all. I don't holy think I can put holy oil on the Sunblade, because it's you like can. a lightsaber. I don't think that's Put your right. I, I, I it it also, it's already arrows. holy oil. Nobody right, knows if it will work, but you can try. Fucking accidentally starts a massive fire. Can you fire. even touch the blade without, like, hurting yourself? If you drop it straight down. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I feel like if you try to, like, pour oil on it, it's just going to trickle through onto the floor, you know? Like. Yeah, yeah you don't. You, you, it's a safe assumption to make that it probably won't work. It's also, yeah. like, a fucking holy blade already, right? So. They're working on a crossbow bolt, though. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was just going to say. How many uh, crossbow bolts or arrows? I forget which one I use. I think arrows. Three. Um, arrows. Three? Okay. Three pieces can of ammunition, I, I believe, uh, if yeah, I'm not oh. mistaken. Can I attempt to pull Davian aside subtly? Ooh. Uh, how would you go about doing that subtly? Zaddy. I don't know. Fuck it. Um, I'll just sort of lean over to him and be like, come Check the fucking door with me, make sure we're not gonna get jumped or some shit. Usually, usually, Davian would be like, What the fuck, you can do that on your own. But given Brooks's mental state, I will oblige. I'll just sort of poke my head out the door and make sure that everything's okay. Uh, yeah, things look clear, although you do notice that it has begun. Okay. I will, you... like, mind pointing something out the door to Davian. Okay. And see if, um, just well, I'll follow, I'll follow his point. I'll just sort of lean over and be like, You've... You've still got the, the bands, right? Yeah. Just... We don't have a great history with me and... I just I'm very worried about the prospect of hurting one of you. Well, I mean I I can always try and restrain you if it comes to that, but uh it is really a matter of one's strength whether they they hold you back or not. And uh depending on you know I, I'm how not at my peak at the moment anyway, so right, but I'm just saying you're a pretty strong guy. It turns out if you weren't aware <laughs> not as much at the moment uh we should we should fucking get back mm. so you're oh, saying shit. that if shit gets Larry, you want me to try and restrain you with the iron bands. I can try. I mean, I can always try. Just don't let me beat the shit out of if, fucking. If, if the cho if the choice Eladrin is again, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit. No, not even. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I mean, sure. I'll, I'll I will try. I will go back and I will drink. Winkies. So with that, uh, what are you identifying, Jack? You're muted. <laughs> Staff that was covered in the lightning, and then the uh, the blade that I found. Mm -hmm. uh, you identified a staff, and uh, staff. Is indeed staff of power. Hell yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> it 
staff can be wielded as a magic quarter staff. Um, and uh, it will also significantly increase, you know, your, your ability to hit. Uh, but it also bolsters your defenses um, by, a, uh, by a similar, like, amount. Uh, the staff has 20 charges, <clears throat> and it regains a certain amount every, uh, every dawn. Um, when you expend the last charge, there's a small chance that it will all, it will regain the water staff offensive and defensive capabilities, but will lose all of its other properties. Um, the first thing you can do with it is uh, something called Power Strike. When you, you hit with a melee attack using the staff, you can expend a charge to deal an extra bit of force damage. Uh, while holding the staff, you can use an action to uh, expend one or more of the charges to cast a variety of spells. Uh, Cone of Cold, costing 5 charges. Fireball, 5th level version, costing 5 charges. Uh, Globe of Vulnerability, costing 6 charges. Hold Monster, costing 5 charges. Levitate, costing 2 charges. Lightning Bolt, 5 charges. Magic Missile, 1 charge. Raven Feeblement, 1 charge. Or Wall of Force, 5 charges. Um, <clears throat> the final thing uh, you get is a uh, retributive strike. You can use uh, an action to break the staff over your knee against or against a solid surface, performing a retributive strike. The staff is destroyed and releases all of its remaining magic in an explosion that will expand to fill a 30-foot radius sphere centered on it. Uh, you have a 50% chance to instantly travel to a random plane of existence, avoiding the explosion. If you fail to avoid the effect, you take force damage equal to 16 times the number of charges in the staff. Um, Holy shit. Oh. But that effect will affect anyone in that area. It's like 320 damage. So it's like it's a self-destruct, and it's a 50-50 whether you get hit by that self-destruct or not. Jack's about to run in and just fucking break over his <laughs> knee straight away. <laughs> like, fucking you bastard! Uh, a slight um, work with it, though. Okay. Is that attunement only works when done by sorcerer or wizard? Yeah. Oh. I can do that. So yeah, you were cast basically. Yeah. I mean, if you want to use it, cast ain't here. Yeah, for future though. I don't think I want it. You know, got this well, it's you or no or... one. So like, what are you going to well, right up now? For yeah, but I'm also attuned to. The crossbows, the sunblade, and the ring of evasion. I suppose we could use it as a like last chance saloon nuke. Yeah, because so, anyone can smash it and do the strike, right? It's only to do the to yeah. use it, the charges, you'd have to attune to it. I mean, I'll be able to use it. If you'd not attune to it, it's just a stick. It's just oh, a stick. Oh, so if you, if you break you it, you probably it can't break it. Um, you can't break it. Oh, okay. Well, you might be able to break it, but it'll just ruin it. Well, it's, magic, well, it's magic, magic items, items can only be broken with magic. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's well, in the hands of someone not attuned, it is just a pretty stick. Gotcha. A lot um, of pretty sticks. The other thing you have, your your that, that blade you found, right? Mm-hmm. Um Sir. you identify that and it is it once was a uh a particularly powerful blade that was cursed. That curse has been lifted now that the final charge on it has been used. Um, what this blade used to do is it granted the wielder wishes. But when wishing for something using the blade, the polar opposite effect would happen. Or in some niche cases, uh, it wouldn't be the polar opposite. But the goal of the curse was is to have the person using it to wish for something... Uh, Instead of getting their wish granted, some something terrible would happen to them. Uh, but this blade is now, since then, uh, no longer cursed or magical in any sense. It is now just a very old short sword. Old and mundane? Old and mundane. Like me! <laughs> <laughs> There's no water around here, is there? Uh, not as far as you can tell. 
I mean, it's raining outside. It is raining outside. Well, yeah, yeah but I have to submerge my shit. Oh, yeah, for that. I was going to say, I thought you were for the whole thing with vampires and running water. I was like, well, we know where he's going to poof back to, so we can... Yeah, no, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, you meant for your shield. <clears throat> Just forget oh. about it, honestly. Anything anyone else would like to do? Well then. Uh, hmm. No, I won't. I won't. Yeah. Okay. I'd like I'm to rest. Pacing and coating my arrows with holy. Oil. Actually, okay. yeah, gonna... I'm gonna. I'm gonna coat. Hold on. Do I have any fancy bolts? I would like to coat two bolts. I know you can do three pieces of ammunition, but in fact, wait. Silver is silver anything against vampires? Uh, In some make, form, I, don't uh, I think it just ignores magical resistance. That's all it does. I mean, if you have silver, we make, could. How about the DM answer? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> make a history check. Natural one. Uh oh. Oh, oh yeah. You have no idea. For, or for all uh, you know, you think it very much does. <laughs> You're convinced. No clue. Uh, you do. Know, I mean, no, you know werewolves. Silver is pretty good. Yeah. Advice. Uh, but you don't know if ah, the vampires share that trait. I will, um... I'll take... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh... Da -da -da. Vo the void arrows, okay? Mm -hmm. They deal psychic damage instead of piercing. Um, they make no sound, they leave no discernible wound, and vanishes immediately. So if it... Discernible... Is it really gonna do anything if also coated in holy water or oil? Like, is it just gonna poof and the water won't do anything? Um. Nah, I'll say that the effects die. Okay, so then I will. I'll take a couple void bolts, and uh, lube them up real good, <laughs> and I will load them into my crossbows. And then holes of the crossbows. Sounds good. So, okay. short rest comes to an end. You know that your final battle awaits you right around the corner, quite literally. Um, or God. you could choose to do some exploring, but judging by the fact that you just summoned a whole pack of dogs, I think oh. you've made up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, shut the fuck up, shut up, shut up. Let's do. <laughs> uh yeah, fuck. I'll, I'll commit ultimate bastardry and cast death ward on myself. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Kill him first. Yeah. <laughs> I am feeling. Knock him out right now. <laughs> no. All right. And I'll go ahead and uh, hitchhike with a Lazarin, and when the rest <laughs> is done, and after giving Jax my journal back to stow for me. So oh, actually, a... before we move on, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will. Hold on. I need to double check, but I think I want to give Elazarin my uh, talisman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give Elazarin my talisman. So if he fails an ability check, he can add a d4 to the roll. The one d4 is an ability check. Yeah. Damn, not saving for rest, rest in peace. No, but that's fine. Things like revivify a check. Yeah, they? true, 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 true. Um, I. Aranya's cool. gonna Thank cast you. false life on themselves. Okay. As it gives you temp HP, right? Yeah. Um, they're gonna cast it at third level. Okay. I will give Davian Vigil Blessing. I hate you. <laughs> well, um, you know, he was nice to me, so I'll nice him back. Uh, I'm gonna use one of my defensive fields. God, we really are just fucking using a lot of buffs before the fucking raid, you aren't are, we? Like, this is like the <laughs> fucking true... We're yeah. being strategic! <laughs> what do you mean? We're being smart. <laughs> just fucking funny. Once like in our lives. Pre-raid buffs are happening right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right, so I could always just disguise in. myself as a Lazarin. I'll just run in. <laughs> I'd like to see if we have any potions that we can pop, too. 
Yeah, I just I just checked. <laughs> you know, I, don't I, think I, I could swear I had some, but maybe I not, thought I yeah. did too, but no. I don't think a potion of vitality is really gonna help right now. <laughs> I ain't gonna do shit. No potions will help me, period, so that's all I use. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being dead. I can't. Uh, I could make one of you ginger. Nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that might help. Strad might be less inclined to eat you. He might, might be really picky. Yeah. It's dead all. Yeah, I've probably got some, like, <laughs> horrible poison somewhere. Okay, uh, nothing. Right, I, I actually have got poison, but I don't know. I mean, fuck it, like. Is poison going to affect a vampire? The Brooks would have no fucking the age clue. age-old question. Uh, I will uh, use two of my three vows of poison to coat both of my daggers in poison, and then I will offer the third to anyone else who wants it. Oh, what damage does the uh, holy oil do, by the way? Oh, it does. Uh, it 2d4. 2d4 yeah, radiant. Yeah, uh, Ethan? Yeah. Yeah, 2d4 radiant oh, yeah, damage on yeah. top of Normal damage. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 2d6. I do apologize. D6. I'm stupid. Oh, that's even better. Mm -hmm. uh, but only if the target is fiendish or undead. Which we all, you all know that. I would argue Strahd is both. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh. it's real. You can, you can also, like, th single use throw it, but What's the it's better that? to coat your weapons. Okay. Does so. anyone else want my other poison smile? No. You've, uh, you know, you've gathered it, around in the uh, the room before the final boss. You've buffed up. Yeah. <laughs> Any more postponing? The yeah. Can I quick save? Are we? Uh, mm, yeah. Trying no. To I think. Oh, my mom's calling me real quick. Uh. No. So what are you guys doing? <laughs> Actually, sorry, I gotta go. No. <laughs> <laughs> who's uh? Who's all the crime? Like, so who's taking the uh? Details. I look with my fucking army of dogs. <laughs> like so. <laughs> Go first, or... I'll take. I, I can go. I, I'll, you know, we'll, I'll go up front with you, Jax. I'll be fine. <laughs> no, fucking, I say that as I'm there, like, come on, boy. And I say it to all of them. To all like, six of them, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Their names? Uh, no. Dog one, dog two, dog three, dog four, dog five, dog six. <laughs> so um, they all yeah, think they're Doug. not gonna be alive very long. They so. think they think their name's Doug, but it's Dog <laughs> and <laughs> Lazarin. Julius, Bernard. I lost someone. Never mind. Yeah, I did lose someone. There's Jax. I always get lost, man. Oh, I bet comes back. I got lost in the sauce. So Brian you know, like before. you, you arrive at like the entryway to to what is the area known as the Overlook. Um, mm. I know the map is sunny, but that is purely because when I make it dark, you you won't be able to see shit, and neither will yeah, Jax. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. You'll just see Davin's little flame, and that'll be it. <laughs> Pretty much. So it is. It is raining. <laughs> Uh, well, I can turn like torches on on people. But, like that doesn't gonna do much. You know what I mean? Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um. So you know that you're about to enter. You know your destination. Can I have a marching order? You know, Lazarin up front. So I guess. Lazarin and yeah, Jax up front. And I'm, I'm, guys... I'm inside a Lazarin. Uh, nice. Uh, I, I, yeah, I want to be. Nice. I want to be. Uh, if dogs are to... of the fuck you want to put in my brother, <laughs> they can either be what, with next to me, or they can be like sort of lagging behind. I want to be like close behind at least. Same. Oh. Like middle ish of the group. Dogs are all gonna die in like one fire. Uh, so Brooks will probably be at the back because he scaled. And Onu close behind. Actually, Aranya will be toward the back as well because arrows. <laughs> mm hmm. So, as you oh. no, there we go. Let's do. Uh, so, while I quickly change music, <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> He's not here. He's already died. Your bird just. <laughs> uh, as you round the corner, see three individuals. Ooh. Um, you see Strahd, tall, pale skin, long, dark brown, maybe black hair, uh, crimson red eyes, accompanied by Second in Command, who you recognize from one of the visions you've had when reading Strahd's tome, Rahadin, 
a tall, pale elf with long black hair, like shining yellow and green eyes. Um, we see one more individual, sat in like a chair with wheels. Sickly pale, oh, thin, and gaunt is. looking human. Grey and sickly tones to his otherwise copper skin tone. Dark hair, like long but combed back. His eyes kind of widening when he sees you approach. But then in a split second, his entire demeanor changes. His eyes begin to gloss over with this crimson red color. And he stands up from his chair and large fangs kind of like appear inside his mouth. Oh. Mm -hmm. As you <clears throat> see Strahd like looking at you all, arms like like looking very uh, there's some noise going on right next to me, so bear with me. So, so, so that's like, Brooks's brother, who's now a vampire, right? That's yeah. what we all just saw, uh, right? Oh, I don't know. That's just some other guy. <laughs> you start looks at you. Actually, well, Dagon would know. Dagon's looked that? at Brooks. Dagon's been right? in his head. Did I see him when I was had that shared vision with you? I don't know if he was in, in it. I can't remember what I saw. Oh no! Yeah, I mean, you saw him hanging, so. Oh, I did. Oh, you did. So yeah, you know that that is indeed Thorin. Ah! Um, okay. <laughs> Strahd will look at you and say, You have been thorns in my side for too long. But look what it got you. The last beacon of hope against my corruption, Velaki, overrun by my minions. Your brother, and he like, looks at Brooks. I did as now I promised. Cured him of his ailments, although it did come with some side effects. I'd say, new and improved, wouldn't you? But now it is time to make good on my promise. I'm going to show you what happens to heroes in Barovia. Cool initiative. Okay. Dun, 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 initiative is a check, right? Quick question, question while we're rolling initiatives real quick. Huh? Uh, question for you real quick. In my extensive life I've lived of 308 years, <laughs> um, would I have ever heard of a potential cure for vampirism? This kind of affects how I'm gonna fight. Make. Ooh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Make. Uh. Make an. Uh, make an intelligence check. Okay. How I, well read I, is Jax? Oh, dude, he's pretty fucking. My dice are rolling good today. Uh, that's a twenty-four. You know that there's two ways to cure someone with that. One is making a wish. The other, killing them, and then reviving them. Damn. Good to know. Can revive someone who's been a vampire, bro? Yeah, I did my research also, in this, and the the revivify, thing. revivify won't work because then no, it'll be like true resurrection. You'd have to like true resurrect like, muscle yeah. shit, right? Like uh, you would have, because so it was like the whole conversation, like what would bring your horns back, right? It's like yeah. You will resurrect to, them as like, they were. Have them revived by someone capable of not just doing the revival. That's like a proper resurrection yeah, yeah. ritual, uh, if you will. Because um, those work so well all the time. But I've, I've done, yeah, I've done my research. I looked. I was like looking like, okay, how do how do you cure vampirism? As if, and as if it is, wasn't a problem is, you created. Uh, well, in core D and D, as in like vampire enemies, you <laughs> can't. But when they added vampires as like playable classes, like playable yeah. races. That's when they kind of elaborated, and the only two ways to cure vampirism is killing him, having him resurrected, or wishing. Uh, there's a chance. I mean, we well, can I can pay for a resurrection. I mean, I can raise dead now. I have to That's spell. That's a resurrection, is it? He he's isn't raised dead very different. That's, he's, then he joins me in the undead but, team. We'll, uh, we'll talk about this uh, when the time comes. Let's, uh, no. let's first see. <laughs> I just had to know before I fought, you know. Uh, let me just... Before you fought. These... I did, I did a little fought. I need to know before I fought. Stop. Um, <laughs> I'm some initiative here as well, of course. I hope so. Initiatives 20 or more. 24. 24. Good start. Yay. Oh. 15 to 20. Oh, 
16. 17. 17 for Jack? I rolled 19, dude. Rolled, who, who else did I hear? Aranya. 16 for Aranya. 16. 10 to 15? 10. <laughs> I roll with advantage and roll two sixes. Uh, so, you know, nothing changed, boys. Which means that your bombs go there as well. Uh, no. Brooks and Diagon, what do you guys roll? Five. Nine. Five. I almost rolled an 18, and then the 18 tipped to a natural two. And I was like, are you fucking Aww. really? My classic single digit initiative strikes again. All right. Davian. That means you go first. Uh, okay. I run. How? Okay. Roughly how far from me to Strahd? 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 feet. Okay. So. That's really annoying. You know that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's really that's kind of stinky. Okay. Um, here's what I'll do then. I will run up to that wall. Uh, so... Which one? Like, uh, that, that, that closest wall, the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Fuck, dude. Why would I? Why did I have to go with hand crossbows, man? Hmm. Okay, so right I will. Is, what? 10, 20, 30, 40 feet between you and him. Yeah. <laughs> Which is with disadvantage, so it's not. Oh, but I have a plus 10. Oh. Do it. <laughs> and they it's got repeating okay <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot Strahd. Okay. fuck it well I, first i'm gonna bonus action hunter's mark yeah Strahd. uh so i just need to use that spell slot real quick and then yeah i'm gonna from 40 feet i guess shoot him twice yeah well, with my Oiled void arrow. Where's my fucking d20s? Oh, they're right here. So first attack with disadvantage is a dirty twenty. That hits. Okay. Second attack. Oh, twenty-seven. So hits. Okay. So does the silver do anything? Uh. Doesn't appear to, no. Okay. So he takes an extra d6 radiant damage from the crossbow. Does the holy oil do anything? Uh, <clears throat> it affects him, yeah. Do I roll any extra or is it just like... It's just the uh, the amount that it says. It's the normal base. Use two d6. So you fire two bolts. It only does damage if they're undead or fiend. D6! Yeah. Holy shit! So I'm doing a D6 psychic damage and three D6 radiant damage with each of these attacks. Mm -hmm. So the first attack does four psychic damage okay. and 15 radiant damage. Okay. Uh, you definitely see, like, as the first bolt, like, lands, uh, it, it kind of just, like, goes through him and instead of, like, wait. Blood and six damage from my hunter's mark. Mm -hmm. What's the damage type on that? Is it just on top of whatever? It's, I guess, whatever the... It would probably be Psychic again. Okay. Because um, Psychic is the damage type of the bolt. Of the bolt, yeah. Right. Uh, okay. So you see the air, the bolt, like, hit him. And he doesn't really draw blood or anything. There's just this, like, bit of, like, blackish smoke that kind of, like, appears from where you hit him. Um, it seems... That the radiant damage, like the holy glow that kind of remains, does burn him a little. Uh, as far as the psychic damage goes, he just kind of looks at you and smiles. That doesn't really seem interesting. To so, what was the radiant damage part of that? Does anyone remember? I think it was fifteen. That sounds oh, about the number. Right. Yeah, I rolled really high. I rolled two sixes yeah. and uh, mm. a three. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Second bolt. Second bolt. Two plus three. Second bolt. Second bolt. Two. I'll do all the psychic damage together first. So seven points of psychic damage and seven points of radiant damage. Okie dokie. All right. So yeah, you fire your two bolts, both hitting him, one like in the upper torso, one more like in his, in his thigh. And these are the Ooh. void bolts, right? So these like... Phew. Yes. Uh, and like where they hit him, this like glowing residue of, of like white yellowish light remains. It seems to burn him a little bit and he does kind of like react and kind of like try and like pat it off of him. Um, mm. And then he just looks at you and glares. I duck back behind the wall. Okay. Out of view. <clears throat> All right, team. And that's my turn. Now, Rohadins. He's going to... 35 feet. And 20, 30, 35. So he's going to be here. Uh, and I'll say that he definitely has line of sight on some of the boys around the corner because of the distance. Um, but first... Davian. Yeah. As this man approaches you mm. and gets to a certain distance of you, you suddenly mm -hmm. just hear in your mind screams of thousands of people that this man has killed, and it's driving Ooh. you crazy. Love that. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Yikes. God. Uh, 14? You don't manage to bite through <laughs> the, the, the echoes of screams in the back of your head. <laughs> And you take um, eight plus four is twelve plus one. Thirteen points of psychic damage. Oh, I'm Literally, the psychic damage boy. As you said, fourteen, and the pause between that and you saying you failed. My music list, the track change, it's this ominous like pong, like, like, <laughs> like real like, quick tolling this... of a bell. I was like, oh no, oh, God. I still have. Do I still have temp HP from? The last session I played when Lazarin's bubble was up. Does that last indefinitely? Uh, have you rested? Yeah, it does last. It's only We've on not long, long rest. There we we'll go. Yeah, okay. And we haven't long rested, so okay. Yeah, no, then you still have that. Because I'm missing hella spell slots, so there's no way we long rest. No. Uh, no, you you haven't long rested since you like long rested last. No. Yeah. We well, long rested the last session before he was. Yeah, there. you long rested the session before you weren't there for a sesh, so if you maybe you forgot to push the long rest button. Because obviously the, the last session you weren't here, and so no, all I did was using Yeah, but we long rested session. at the beginning of the last session, so Yeah. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to So you might not have pushed the long rest button. Oh yeah. so you do have a spell. So, so okay, okay, so I need to do a long rest real quick. Yeah. yeah. And then take you, twelve uh, you, you drew a long sleep. You drew a long yeah, sleep. Yeah and then what was it twelve points or thirteen, 13 points? points of thirteen damage. Okay. And I guess and mark off a spell slot. I use one spell around. slot. Yes, yeah, just, yeah. Okay, cool. There you go. Uh, and for this guy's action. Uh, going to. He takes out his scimitar. And for his action, he is. Oh, that's a bonus action. He already, no, he's not going to do that. He's going to take out his. Uh, his um, three poison darts and begins just like <laughs> chucking them at people. Um, that is a ooh, 29 to hit Jax. But yes, so I'm looking at the cameras right now, so I need you to audibly say yes or no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, to a 29. I think a 29 is going to hit. I think it's true, no. man. Uh, that's a 27 to hit uh, a Lazarin. Yeah. I'm just going to see. He's gonna throw one at one of the dogs as well because they're right there. Natural twenty-one oh. of the dogs. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, <laughs> Bye, doggo. Uh, Julius, no. Blood. Um, dog. So dog. let's start with the dog. Uh, and fourteen. Uh, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-two, twenty-five. Five oh, Twenty-nine right. points of damage yeah, yeah, yeah. to this like furthest away dog. I um, did you number it? What number is it? Uh, that is uh, number five. Mastiff number, number five. five. Not to be confused with what? Mambo number five. Um, <laughs> oh my god! A little bit of rah so in my that life. Dog, just like you see the darts mm -hmm. hit its chest, and you can see this is like this 
wound is like sickly green residue being pumped into into this dog, and the dog just perishes right away. Bro, he had a good minute and a half of life, you know? No, he got the whole short rest. He did get the whole short rest. Oh, that's true. Good hour. Um, So for the Lazarin, mm -hmm. you take six, and you take uh, blah, 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 10 points of piercing damage. Okay. And six points of poison damage. Poison damage is halved because of my crown of yeah, dragon so scale, three. whatever. Okay, and that means I also uh, take five five points of the piercing. So yeah. thirteen in total. I mean, I guess you take the poison. I'm damage immune. Well, I'm right? immune to poison. You're immune so to poison. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so damage, five points. But piercing. I take five points of piercing. For Jax, you take nine points of piercing damage, Jax. Okay, that's my temp HP gone. And three points of poison damage. I don't take any poison damage. There you go. It is now Thanks Strahd's to the turn. Hero's Feast. Oh yeah, you got the Hero's Feast. You did but get the Hero's Strahd's Feast. Turn. As the Dude, only Dude, literally person. has a raid buff. What the fuck? Um, Strahd, you can well, see uh, when Strahd is about to move, where the Radiant like residue was still kind of lingering, that, that just disappears. And you can see like, like the small wounds that he did get from the impact of the of the bolts kind of like begin to regenerate. Oh, sick. Also, my... <laughs> Concentration on my fucking Hunter's Mount Oh no! Yeah. Um. Strahd. Jumps off the cliff. <laughs> Is going to. Move. Up. I'm scared. 30. And. Surrender. Gavin is the only one like close enough for him to do anything. To him. But Sorry. I'm hiding. I'm conceit. Well, I'm not hiding. Davian had a great I am. To fight for Davian here, I'm he tucked. Have you know, actually half you are, cover. You are tucked. You are tucked. There's um, no way it's only half cover. It's not full cover, mate. You can see it. Three quarter cover. You yeah, can't see. Well, see, if I had it specified in my turn, I would have run down five feet into that corner, and then would have been the little hidden boy. <laughs> but you didn't. But you um, didn't. Well, I mean, well some, it kind of. Sounds like an know. oversight here. Oh. How will you oversee this dick and balls? Uh, it's 45 <laughs> I got <feet>. him. <laughs> what is the range on that spell? Hold on. Probably like 120. Five. Five foot spell. <laughs> touch. Five foot touch spell. range. Five foot spell. Touch, touch range. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's going to fireball. Yeah, yeah. cool. Ah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, it'd be really nice dogs, to have a counter hey, spell. All cast the dogs right now, are fucked. You know? Hey guys, all the dogs are dead. Because <laughs> <laughs> even if they save from this, it's oh, fine. No, uh, so all that is dead. a uh, that is a twenty foot radius. Uh, this is the second time Owen has been fireballed in his existence. Which yep. is yeah, everyone, right? that, that's everybody. So I need everyone in this of, fucking no. bubble to make a dexterity. Dutch, save, you know? Dutch, get rid of all the dogs. Because no way, this does less than five. This does this does do less than five, right? They're all dead. Mm. It's, it's impossible to do less than five. The minimum damage. Yeah. Actually, if I roll only ones and they all right. make their saves, it'll only do yeah. four damage. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. So, te so technically, we do have. I so there is a cool. chance. <laughs> There's a chance. Why don't we roll damage first and then. I rolled good. Yeah. Also, depending on. Um, Koima, tell me what the outcome of your roll is, and I might use my reaction here. Okay, give me, but... give me a second. I gotta roll fucking five deck saves for these Dude, fucking dogs. I have not rolled below an eighteen yet today. One, two, three. I'm pretty I, sure I, I know the answer 18, to this, like on the dice. Plus but I'm gonna I'm check on. purely because <laughs> okay. you might pull some bullshit. This is not an ability, right? This is a spell. Is a He's save. casting a spell. This is a spell. Yeah, and uncanny dodge only applies to things with attack rolls, right? Uh, Uncanny mm -hmm. Dodge is for attack rolls. Uh, okay. There's also a saving throw evasion. variant. That's evasion. I don't know if you're high yeah. enough level to have that. Right, yet. no, I don't have evasion. I have Uncanny Dodge. Seven, seventh level rogue, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I will absorb elements. One. So. Uh, oh, sorry, I need to roll. Do my roll as, quick. Do my roll as well. Before you ask us, the dogs are all dead. 
Are they? Cool. Cool. Yes, yes, cool. The high, the high, I mean, the high. I rolled for them. The highest rolled a twenty-one, and then it was a seventeen, and then the rest were less than ten. So, okay, so what, nice. roll, then what did you roll? What did you roll for yourself? Uh, I rolled a twenty-three. Thing. Okay, I'm gonna use. Mm, I don't know. I don't know how good, but that's a game. Uh, seeing that, I'm scared. I would probably use my divine barrier, and it also would canonically like work really well at how I save against us if I do save. Mm -hmm. So I will be kicked out of a Lazarin's body, but use a burst of ghostly energy to try and put a barrier between him and the fireball. So I'm adding plus four to your save. 27 though. Yeah, huh? so I, I rolled a 22 a and you rolled a 27. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know there's no way he needs not. that. There's no way he needs that. There's no way this man's spellcasting fucking ability modifier is going to be used. What, Strahd? But again, that, mean, that feels... That there's feels no way for 27. The problem is it feels too late to me if I do that because it, it she's done it now. I'm trying to protect a Lazarin. Yeah, yeah, it's too late. Like too too so, late. Yeah. She's done it now. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. So, she's let go of the chess piece. Forward. Shit. Uh, what did you roll, Damien? Uh, you didn't have to roll. I'm done. What did, oh, Onu rolled an 18. Okay. Brooks? Uh, 23. 23. Uh, Aranya? 26. 26. Jax? 18. What the fuck? What game is You all made the same. Oh, hey! That means I take no damage. Even Odu oh. made it. That does mean you take no damage. So, yeah, it does mean you take no damage. 35, oh, no, no, no. 35 Wait, sorry, gets sorry. half to 17 points of fire damage to all of you. 17 points. And with blocks. absorb elements, I would half that again, uh, right? Uh, so is that a reaction you can do? D set? Yes. Uh, then yeah. So, Which so would be eight. Eight. Be eight. I also take eight because I'm a tiefling. You do. So we uh, took 17. how much was it? Seventeen. Okay. Seventeen, yeah. So I took as well. Uh, but do you like you do the thing? So Daigon is being ejected out of. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it also works as in that would be how I make the save and dodge out of some of the ways. So you can eject yeah, me sure. enough feet that would canonically work for. Sure, sure, sure. All right, that's uh, Strahd's turn. A little fireball to open up the fight with. Uh, Jax, up to you. God. Um, oh, God. I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry. I am really struggling with what to do here, because... Whatever's going to kill the bad guys. How far yeah. away from me is he? Currently, he is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 feet. 45. Hmm. Okay. Can I... Sorry. I'm going to cast haste okay. on Davian. Cool. Um, you know, plus two AC, advantage on dex saves, and an additional action on turn. Fucking hell, I'm about to go off, dude. But... That's the hope. Just know that if it gets un if it gets knocked away, though, you will be lethargic for a round and not yeah. be able to move. Once the spell ends, you skip around, essentially. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. As long as you're cool with that, then yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Um, I mean, and boosted. then I am going to move right up in Strahd's face. You have 35 feet of movement? Yeah, I have 40, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you oh, get closer, out. Rahadin... Suddenly, also begin to hear these like thousands and thousands of voices oh, dude, echoing the back of your head. Make a wisdom saving throw. I have been one of those. Plus three, so seventeen. It's not enough. What the? F See, you they have high DCs, so maybe ten it wasn't points true. of psychic damage. And this is his second in command. This isn't even Strahd. Yeah, we know Strahd's is an 18. Okay? We, we we know an 18 beats it, but it's done now. Let's not argue. <laughs> okay. We have a lot of fight to go. Yes, and then do. I'm going to use my bonus action to okay. activate my defensive field. Okay. Sounds good. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Aranya. All right, so I'm going to get within 30 feet of the space behind Strahd. Huh? I'm going to get within 30 feet behind the... Sorry, 30 feet of the space behind Strahd. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Okay. So, whoop. Over here, and then 10. I'm going to Blessing of the Raven Queen behind him. Okay. Oh my god. So, I have double resistance to fire damage and resistance okay. to all damage until the start of my next turn. And then I am going to uh, stabby stabby with my extra 3d6 of fire damage if I hit. Radiant damage. Oh, fire damage? How about fire damage? Fire because of my absorb elements. Right. Yeah, I should absorb the fireball. That's so sick, actually. If I hit. You got this, I believe. Uh, so I'm going with my rapier. Oh, god damn it. That's only a 14. 14 misses. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could have been cool. Thank you, Dice. Um, that's it. I'm Do just have waiting a now. Oh, I used my bonus action already. Is Rogue's attack action just one attack? This level? I just it's have one really? attack for action. Oh. Yeah, it depends on what her level is in Rogue. Well, it's level 5, but it's just, it still says. If, if you're level 5, you should have an extra attack as Rogue. I don't mm, that level 5 check. as a physical class is when you get your second attack. Like crazy? Uh, says actions in combat. Mate, no, 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 no. Rogues don't get extra attack. Oh, oh they, they don't. Rogue, That's right, the, uh, yeah, dude. Don't, uh, uh, oh, wait. Wouldn't I have advantage, though? Because flanking. True. Because Jax is there. No. Oh. What? <gasps> Strata. cannot be flanked. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> I was so excited! I was like, advantage! Sneak attack! Fire yeah. damage! Unfortunately, Bad damage. you do not. Well... Tried. Alright. Sucks to suck, I guess. I guess yeah. Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> the Lazarus. Okay. You're watching all your dogs perish. <laughs> I have this look of they like... They were so helpful. I have this Strong. look of just purely expecting of like... Yeah, I thought that was probably gonna happen. Everything was hollowed okay. up and he has access to Fireball, man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will move. Can I get to within 30 feet of Jax? And if not, definitely of Darren. Basically, so my dome can get to him within 30 feet? Of... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you move, say, like, here. York. I'm pretty sure everyone's within 30 feet of you. 10, 20, yeah. yeah, 25, 30. Evans right there. Yeah, you good. If I move forward, can I get a runner in as well? I don't particularly want, yeah, don't particularly want to move that far forward. 20, but... 30, 30, 40. You would have to move off. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, and I'll, I'll fucking dome up. What's the radius again? 30 foot radius? 30 foot radius, baby. Dome some of that dome. That's right. Six tiles. It was. So I'm on a weird half tile here, aren't I? Yeah. 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 Um, that's cool. And then I will bonus action at fourth level, uh, mass healing word. Okay. So me. Oh, we just got fireballed. So yeah. Yeah. Me. Uh. Onu. Daigon. Onu. Uh. Fucking who else got fireballs in that? Uh. I'm Brooks. fine. It's got my temp uh, HP. Are we getting temp <coughs> HP? No, no. This is full healing. This is this is <gasps> massive healing. Really, am I getting some? Uh, yeah, Jax. But I mean, I, I can get six people. So I mean, fucking everyone, basically. Please one, two, three, me. four, five. Yeah, everyone. I'll get everyone. Well, uh, oh, wait, no, one person one, minus one two. person minus own, one. Uh, Not Davian, right? Yeah, Davian's not been hit, right? So There's only six of us. Well, I think Davian did. I will if. I won't you can give leave it... Aranya out. I mean, yeah, I still I'll... have eight temp HP. So I will leave Aranya out then. Two, three, four. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Big, How much baby. fucking? How much fucking like is this? Like four? It's two D four, brother. Oh, it's just healing. It's healing work. It hits everybody. It's yeah. Uh, it's ten points of healing to everyone. Yay! Wait, wait, wait. So did you heal Davian and Onu? Yeah. Both. Okay. No, he, I did points. it one level higher, fourth level. Because it's a third level spell. Yeah, so wouldn't that be an extra d4? Yeah, it's 1d4 at base. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. What the healing oh, word sucks was... ass. Dude. Yeah, healing word is... Yeah. The only good thing about mass healing... No, it, it's, it's, the range. Actually, so... it's the range. Yeah. It's the ra range. It's the range and thing. Well, mass wounds is great, but it's a fifth level spell. And I didn't fucking yeah. prepare it. So... Nice. 
Alright, so you I move. I other things. Use your action to summon the, the And dome. use my bonus action. Bonus that action. is fully my turn. And then I will get oh, fucking okay. thank fuck for that. Got max temp HP of whatever the, what the fucking level are we? Like a nine? Nine. Oh, cool. So I get 15 temp HP. God damn. I'm a level eight. Okay. Strahd is going to Stop. use a legendary action. Strahd can go f <laughs> fucking suck my nards because he's going to hurt me. Move up to you without provoking opportunity attacks. He's just going to shock us through this. No sh. And just stand right in front of you. I, I'm just going to give him daggers and leave him with Hello, daddy. I'm like, not oh, awful. No. <laughs> just. Yeah. Okay. A thousand yards staring at him. Uh, I am going yeah, 5, 10, 15. I'm scared. Uh, fuck it. Like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start booking it. Uh, I suppose north in this orientation. Yep. I'm gonna move about 20 feet that way. Maybe 30. 20 is here. So move me 30. Please. Mm hmm. Uh, on my way past, I'm gonna fucking zoop my daggers that are right headed. Okay. Uh, With... uh, 40 feet. Is that a disadvantage? Uh, let me double Down check. Down. Uh, I might have disadvantage. Uh, so it is disadvantage. Okay. Uh, but I do also need to take something I think it's, it's 2060 or something, right? For daggers? Yeah. yeah. I, I was thinking of other things, but. Uh, first one misses. Okay. Second one, I got a natural eighteen and a natural nineteen. Yeah, that will hit. Uh, so. Uh. Go ahead. Fuck. Wait, about something about I wrote a spoon, one. like spooning this tub of essentially Nutella. So disturbing. <laughs> This is how all food's going to be served in 2032. True. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I got uh, five plus. Do I? Is my man's? Uh, does my man take poison damage right heading? Uh, I believe he does. He's just a dude. Okay. Ah! Oh, he's not even. A, he's not even a vampire. He's just a man. <laughs> he's just a man. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's so just I rolled a two ones. Okay. Wait, wait, what, 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 what? No, I said he like, is he, what? He's just a dude. He's not a vampire. He's okay. just a dude. Uh, so, five points of piercing damage. But it's it is magic, magic in case you need to know that. Five points of piercing damage. Yes. And one point of poison damage. Sheesh. Wait, no, I don't even think it's. Hang on. Fuck he might no, get to make a save against it. He's not going to even fucking survive that, mate. One point? Fuck it. Now he killed I wrote him. two he's ones. Dead. Shut the fuck up. He's fucking dead. <laughs> uh, no, he must, needs to make a con save. A natural three, so that's not going to save. Okay, so he takes one poison damage. Let's go! Yes, dude! Oh, huge, massive. Chipping away, chipping away. Um, <laughs> you, like, run and, like, chuck the dagger. Um, these are, like, they return to you, right? These, these yeah, okay. at the end of my turn. So, though. like, you just kind of, like, one of them misses and just like, appears back at your belt. The other one kind of, like, chuck it at him and it kind of, like, grazes his cheek as it, like, flies past. And then while you run, even though, like, Strahd seems very, like, engaged with the Lazarin, as you're running past, he just looks at you. Like, looks up from the lazarus at you. Like, uh, stares I'm gonna eyes. keep running. Uh, I'm going to uh, spend a key point to step of the wind so I get more movement, so I can get behind that fucking well and hide there. Yep. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. I hate you. <laughs> That's me. There's now... Doran's turn. Blame Dutch. And walk up to Aranya. Yeah, that's fair. And you can see that even when, no. like, uh, well, Aranya has her has their back turned, but Jax, mm -hmm. what's your best perception? Oh. Fifty. Wait, sixteen. Sixteen. I'll say that you see that the way he's approaching, he is he's he's not like committed and like running. He's like very much. You get the sense that there's like an inner struggle. There's two forces at play that are trying to fight for control. Like, because by the way he's walking, like he's not overly committed. He's like, he's, you can see that sometimes he just stops after a few steps and he's like, but he does keep going. 
Hmm. Um. So, Gorin is going to uh, make a claw and a bite attack at Aranya. What is he, an animal? As a vampire. <laughs> so, uh, a a 22 to hit with a claw attack. Rude. So it goes, yes. <laughs> uh, so you take four, seven points of slashing damage. Joke's on you, I take three. <laughs> True. Because of your blessing resistance. Uh, and I need you yeah. to make a, uh, make a, make a, Wait, does this just auto grapple? I think it auto grapples. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Like, it doesn't, like, it just says the vampire grapples the target, escape DC, whatever. So oh. that means it automatically happens, right? The grapple happens regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I then guess it's on so. them. Because yeah. normally it's like, ooh, it attempts to or whatever, but this is just, they grapple them. Okay, so you're grappled, so he has, like, his arms around you. What a and bitch. Then he's going to try and uh, bite you in your, uh, in your neck. Ooh. Ooh, Holy shit, ever. hold on. This is like is every teenage the, girl's wet dream. Is this the, just the generic oh. vampire, like, an arm strike? Yes. Yeah, like, it's just a choice of damage or, like, get oh, it's grappled, a choice? idiot. That doesn't say... Oh, no, it does. So that first deck, you didn't, you didn't take any damage. It's, it's, he, cho he chose to grapple. So we worked hmm, okay. damage. You didn't take the, the damage you, you just took. He's hungry. Um, an 18 to hit with the bite? Yeah. You take eight points of piercing damage, half, I guess, because you're resistant to everything mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. turn. Four. And ten, so five points of necrotic damage. And Damn. your uh, maximum HP is also reduced by five. Ew. <laughs> so that... four of that damage was my temp HP, so would my max HP actually just be reduced by one? Uh, hmm. Since that's all that it dug into my actual HP. Because otherwise it does five more damage. Penalty I was not prepared for. Give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know either. I think it might be one of those weird, like, yeah, discretion. Like, rules is written, it's fucked, and it just doesn't like, make sense, I think. Uh, that's a On or it's actually well, if it um, reduces my HP by another five, then five, it yeah. would have had to have done five extra damage. Extra damage, yeah. Effects that reduce max HP ignore temporary hit points. So mm -hmm. okay, you so... keep all of your temporary HP that you had, but your max HP does go down by five. Oh. Interesting. Okay, okay. Um... There you go. Well, she'll take the five necrotic damage to her temporary te no, 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 temporary no, no. HP. No, it goes straight or... through. It ignores temp. And it just like but drops because it. Okay. They keep the temp. Affected, that automatically makes them right. lose five HP they add, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I get your point. Yeah. I fucking knew. I fucking knew. If you do it that role. way, they then lose the temp HP, and their max yeah. health they, still that, goes that down by five. Double damage for every attack, and that's yeah. what fucked. <laughs> that's wild. Um, that's that is I your knew it was turn. A fucked rule. I can. So that mini with like the the reddish looking hat, that's Jax, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, that's Strahd. That's Strahd. Come. He's really fashionable. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 40. Okay. Um, I am going to use my feline agility, which is not an action or a bonus action, just a thing I can use to get over to Jax so I can bonus action hitchhike with Jax if that's possible. And if I can do so, I have, I have a spare like 10 feet. If I can like skirt the Rahadin guy and not have to get right up close to him to get there, I would like to do that. Oh, wait. So how much movement do you have? I have up 60 feet of movement and it takes me 45 the way I counted it, doing diagonal for like three squares and then straight to him would be 45. Mm -hmm. So I have like three more squares I can add in somewhere to maybe you make- You have to run past Strahd like that though. You need to run more diagonal to avoid Strahd. Oh, it's 20. Yeah. 30, 40. And then I'd be in Jax. Yeah. Oh. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> you, you, for a br brief moment, are it's within, still close enough. Are within oh. the range. So you Damn, also, like, as you're, as you're running is, towards Jax, you begin hearing these, like, tried. echoes of screams. Yeah, no, it was a good attempt, but uh, unfortunately, okay. the radius is a little bigger than just in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, adjacent to him. Um, so I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, 
uh, doesn't matter how good my modifier is with a natural three, so that's a seven. It's a oh, no. 16 <laughs> points of psychic damage. I will use my reaction to obfuscate that and half it. Okay, so eight. Uh, eight. And then you disappear into Jax. Let me just... Uh, yes. And let me just hide you from now. There you go. Your turn. Okay. Uh, well, I still have an action, because that was my you bonus do. action to uh, possess, do. and the obfuscate is my reaction. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, I, well, while I'm obfuscating, what it looks like to everyone else is my ghostly figure gets even more blurred, and I look, like, I, I hold less of my shape. I almost start to dissipate, and then I reform again. Um, and then once I am hitchhiking with Jax, I will uh, do sympathetic mending to a Lazarin. Mm-hmm. Because the range on that, what is the range? Uh, oh wait, is the last one within thirty feet of us? Uh, yeah, yes. yes, because yes, if yes. you're in the dome, I'm in dome. In. Yep. Then yeah. I will uh, do that, and uh, you see some of that ghostly energy leave J- Jax's body as he and Elazarin glow simultaneously, and it's two d eight, and I can do that to win. So Fucking you bog. both. You both heal for 17 points You're a... of HP. You're a fucking delight. And, so. um, <laughs> and as, as, uh, Jax just hears in his head, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurting. Uh, and how much temp HP do I get, Elizabeth? You get 15. I've Ooh. rolled. Yay! Yeah. I've rolled three I sixes. That. You don't I rolled even three know. sixes in a row for this temp HP. Very good. One that just, just fucking died himself. One, one didn't fucking count because Brooks wasn't you, in it. You, but... you're, you're joking, but he literally almost did. I had 18. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is Dagon's turn. Uh, before yeah. Davian gets to go, Strahd will make another legendary action. No! And he's going Fucker. to... No way! Hot bitch! Unarmed strike... Uh, Laszlo. Mm-hmm. He's going to choose to not deal damage, but he's going to pick you up with his... like. Oh. oh. Pick you up by the neck and just lifts you off the ground while just staring Jody. at you. And, and you can see, like, Rude. when he opens his mouth, you can see this is, like, multiple rolls of, like, jagged fangs just, like, appear. Ooh. And he is ready to bite. No. I'm just giving him a fucking step. Like, trying my best not to, like, looking scared. It's that, like... <clears throat> so, so he lifts you off the ground. You can see, like, even though he looks, like, equal, like, size as you... That is yeah, immense he's, strength. He's, like he's yeah. one-handed, like lifting you up by the neck and just looking oh, at you. I don't like, like it. Like smacking his lips, revealing like the multiple rolls of fangs ready to just tear into you. Davy. Here comes Onu, baby. Is he 20 oh. feet from Strahd? Oh, quick, quick retcon. When I did that heal, Elazarin, you got the full amount. Jax, you only got four hit points. My apologies. Oh. <laughs> you, you just uh, get 10, my modifier. I'll be honest, I didn't realize I had got any, so that's It's 20 great. feet to get in melee with Strahd, yes. Yeah, Onu's charging in and, and attacking Strahd. Oh. Beat his oh, ass, Onu. Oh, and it's a, 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 a 20-something. Uh, yeah, it's a 25. So Strahd needs to make a strength saving throw. The dog that didn't get fucking exploded. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, strength save. Yeah. She looks past the fucking pile of burning dog bodies. Oh, 17. Like, mm. no. Say again? 17. Oh, so he's not knocked prone, but he does take 13, 16 points of slashing damage. It's just, it's just regular slashing damage, right? Yep. <clears throat> gotta figure out a way to make it only magical. Mm-hmm. Alright. Um, okay, so what does haste do for me? So you have an extra action, you have plus two AC, and, and you have like 10 or 20 more, or maybe it doubles your movement. Okay. Two whole so actions. So can I flank at all? Get with advantage the... on deck saving throws. Is there any flanking advantage I can get here against Strahd? Uh... Like he's holding up a Lazar and Ando and he's biting his balls. I already so. tried to flank with him and it didn't seem to work, so I, I, it's... So it's just, it's just it's not going to happen at all? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm going to attack him with the fucking Sunblade. Now he's up in my business. Hell yeah. Me wow. Okay. First attack is a... Fuck. 
24 to hit. Nice. Uh, for... And you know I'm two-handing this shit, just like my... No. In one hand, bow. I've got I've my got sword. sword blade. And the other hand, I've also got, <laughs> got my sword oh. blade. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Where's my D8? Holding. Uh, I've got a roll on eight right now. Oh, it's a seven. Uh, so the Sunblade did 15 points of damage and then plus seven radiant damage. Yes. All right. Next attack. <laughs> it's a 25 to hit. That also hits. Oh, let's go. Four. <laughs> 10 points of damage plus six radiant damage. 10 plus six. I'm going to get four attacks, right? Because right? I have two actions. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to just it's keep hard. chopping. Pop off. Ah, uh, uh, four plus nine, so thirteen to hit. And that misses. Uh, twenty-seven to hit. That hits. There we go. Four, Ooh. five, so ten points of damage plus eight radiant baby, eight radiant baby, dude. I'm fucking slicing and dicing this motherfucker, busting him out with two crossbow <laughs> bolts right in his, each nip. Okay, and now I'm like doing the Zorro thing. <laughs> So as you as you do that, uh, you can see this like this like sun blade just searing like burning holes into his body, and he like while holding up Lazarus looks at you, and just he just that hurt. But wait your Fucking turn. Fucking human. Wait your turn, and uh, he's gonna use legendary action <laughs> to bite Lazarus. Oh no! That's fucked up. No. Is uh. 25 to hit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna use my, uh, 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 fuck, what's it called? Uh, Silvery Barbs. Okay. And make him reroll. Don't crit. Watch him get a nat 20. It's a ghost anyway, so it's fine. Uh, 21 to hit this time. Just yeah. hits. Oh, I tried, dude. Can I can't I do use your... You'll have advantage on your next saving like, throw. I can't, like, use the DM inspiration you gave me to get check. lower. Right? Wait, who will? <laughs> You will. Okay. Um, yes. Pog, pog, pog. You take. No, 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 no. A mere seven points of piercing damage. Okay. But that's, that's the necrotic's the problem. Okay. But you also take. Well, your max HP reduces by sixteen. I.e., you take sixteen. Oh, oh. Uh, so max HP goes by sixteen. Yeah. I got to fucking do actual math now. And you can see so. as Strahd does that, you can see some of the holes you burnt in him. Uh, no. Duke, he like oh. begins to heal. He better not get the full sixteen back. Right. Um. Yeah, that's that's what he does. That's what he does for now. And then we'll say he just kind of like drops you. Last, oh, did you, uh, I need you to make a make a like a concentration check as well, right? For the bubble, bomb. Nope. No. No. There's no concentration. It oh is, no, that's it's true. A, it's, it's just a, when you why need he to always die. gets targeted. Right. So you need to die. <laughs> so <laughs> does that mean we've reached the end of my turn now? Uh, it depends. Is there anything else you can do? You want to do? Oh, I'm just like the legendary action is like a reaction on my turn, wasn't it? So I didn't yeah. get my oh, temp. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I did two actions. My bonus action. Yeah. No. That I, I'm. I'm good. You get eleven temp. Okay, thank you. Uh, just now, Uh And as a bonus action, surrender. There's three people within ten feet of him now. Uh, so he's going to choose to amplify. Like he knows that you hear these voices, and you're within no. a certain space around him. So he he kind of looks around, sees that there's three people within that space. But so he's all three of you. So Aranya, Jax, and. Uh, Davian to make wisdom saving throw. And me? Is this a, uh, yeah, like a so. charm? It is not a charm, no. Okay. Natural one, dude. Okay, I got a 16. I got a 17 this time. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, those who rolled 16 or more take half damage. <gasps> Yay! Uh, 10, 14... 
21 points of psychic damage, or 10 if you rolled above 16. Oh. Yeah, the temp oh. HP is clutch. That temp HP is literally saving my life. And I just lost one each. I lost all my temp. Rahadin is now going to turn towards Yax. No, oh. stop! Uh, go away! I, I gonna... have no What's the deal again? Can you choose to use a bonus action? Oh, wait, hold on. I need to roll. I have no Ace reaction is still right up. now. Stop it. Oh god, yeah, that's concentration, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, sage advice says no. Okay. But you're DM, so you can say whatever the fuck you want. Well, the thing is, the like, winner? I, I want Rahadin to cast magic weapon instead of attacking, and I feel like that's a safe sacrifice to make. Like, oh, he doesn't attack this turn, but he gets to enchant a blade. Uh, you, right? I mean, you don't have to justify it. Like, yeah. you're the DM. You so can just say it So he's going to uh, use his action to cast magic. What is it? Magic weapon. Yeah, that's what you just said. Yes. But he touches his scimitar, and uh, the scimitar begins to glow. It's like bluish color. Dude. Oh. Huh. Uh, it's pretty. And that's his turn. It is now Strahd's turn. Uh, oh. no. No, it's not. And again, as Strahd is about to move, he, uh, <laughs> you can see some, of, some more of his wounds begin to close. And No! Uh, He's already uh, done so much. Does he really need a turn? He turns... I don't know what you guys are on about. I'm fine. Hi. <laughs> that really Killed hurts. Myself. Uh, and no, he's going no. to just point at you. You can see that from his claw, there's like sickly green and black energy begins to begins to like emit as he casts. See a finger of death. Light. You. Oh, fuck. Fuck. you have advantage on the save. Because of haste? Um, no, because of silvery bars. No, because of oh, silvery bars. bars. If it's a save, I don't remember if blight is or not. I need you to make a constitution okay. save. There you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use that advantage right now. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, it's 19 plus. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. 21. Uh, which I mean, means half damage for both. America's yes. ass is going crazy today. <laughs> <dude>. Holy. <laughs> America's ass is it. Six, seven. Do a clap. Eight. Eight, two. Ten. 13, 16, 23, 4, 26, 27. Oh, thank God. Uh, halved, because you made the save, 13. to 13 points of necrotic damage. Dude, Davian is fucking here for it, man. He's grimacing out from underneath. He's like doing, like peeking out from under his fucking hood, just gr grasping the fucking sun blade, dude. Got that look in his eye. He's ready to fucking murder. Jax, you're up. Yeah. yeah. Choices, choices, choices. Choices, choices. Too many of them. Um, using scrolls does not use a spell slot, correct? Correct. You're crazy. No, it doesn't use a spell slot. I just wanted to check before I did it. I am going to bonus action uh, mass healing word. Is that scroll on your spell list? It's scroll. Yes, but is the spell that you're casting with scroll on your spell list? Not to my knowledge. Double check for me. Alchemist Oof. Artificer gets it. But not you. But not my Artificer. Uh... I need to roll a check to, like, use it? Is that what it is? Uh, well... It's a spell written to Cypher. If the spell is on your class's spell list, scroll and cast a spell without providing any components. Otherwise, the scroll is unintelligible. Um, oh, so I can't even use it. If the spells in your class a spell list, but on a higher level, you can cast, but you need to make an ability check. So it's on a subclass of Artificer spell list, not on yours? Yes, not on mine. Hmm. That's tough. That's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Right. It's real tough. Scratch that, then. Um, <laughs> here goes my turn. <laughs> uh, man, I, why are there no spells that use bonus action, you know? Uh, Crazy. Balancing perspective. Right? I don't quite feel that you use bonus action. It's fucking fun. <laughs> 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 
All right. Well, in that case, I guess I will just. Um... Where am I dead soon? <laughs> my God. Oh, sorry. I just figured out something I can do that I haven't been thinking. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to throw one gauntlet fist at uh Raha Rahadin. Uh, Rahadin. Mm -hmm. Rahadin. Yep, that one. Yeah. For a total to hit of plus nine, so twenty-two. Yes. Okay. He takes ten points of thunder damage. Okay. And then I'm going to move to Strahd. And I don't take an opportunity attack because of my feet mobile. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. So, and then I'm going to throw a fist at Strahd. Go for it. Because all I got are these hands. Well, Not quite as good. Catching these hands. Uh, 19? 19 hits. God. Or... Six thunder damage. Six thunder damage. Every little bit counts. Mm -hmm. I know. It's just, just. It's good I hit. It, it, hitting is what I wanted. That's all that really matters. And that is my turn. Hey. You get fifteen temporary hit points. Oh, you're rolling like a motherfucker. I am a nice. I'm rolling real good. Uh, actually, Strahd's gonna use legendary action. Oh, it. Um, given that Davian has the Sunblade, he's going to give Davian the same treatment he gave Lazarin, and he just picks him up by the scruff of his neck and lifts him up above the ground. Uh, and he's gonna, no, when it, if it hits, of course, natural mm. twenty. Uh, but he's gonna choose not to do damage. Uh, okay, he wants to I... pick you up. Yeah. Oh, he's yep. not doing damage? No, he's picking No, because he's choosing to pick he's him up He's choosing to not do damage to pick him up. Like, grapple him. Oh, okay. Him. Never mind that. Uh, so, yeah, Davin, you are Wait, now... That's the thing he can do. Right. Uh, with his, like, large claws, like, around your neck. And again, he opens up his mouth, and you can see he just, like, rolls up on rolls of, like, jagged, sharp fangs. Can I sp spit in his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Sure, then. laughs> nice. Yeah. He just kind of, he just kind of, ah, and just hmm. like looks at you, and you can see his bottom jaw like unhinges, and there's like Ooh. more rows of teeth appear. Honestly, that probably did like a hundred psychic damage to him. All the better mental. to eat me with. Mm. <laughs> Aranya, what well, big fangs? It is your turn. All right, uh, I'm going to attempt to shocking grasp the boyo that is grappling me. Okay. Kind of weird that a touch spell has an attack roll, but what can you do? That's a 21 to hit. That hits. You could reach out and they could, like, oh. Yeah, you gotta, you've got to hit them. It also allows you to crit, so. Yeah. It's better than having a saving throw. Um, so does, you said 21 hits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is oh, 13 lightning damage. And I'm going to Blessing of the Raven Queen out of this bitch. Um, I want to be... I have 30 feet, so probably behind my friends if I can. Um, wherever 30 feet can get me toward, like, Onu and Ko. <laughs> How many times can you use Blessing of the Raven Queen? Four per long rest. This is my third one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about uh, being grappled or trained. You just... TP out of this man's hands, yeah. Uh, where do you want to yeah. land? Um, wherever 30 feet will get me toward where, like, Onu and Davian are. Like, behind them, if if possible. Like, 30 feet will get you right next to a last room. You go in a straight line. Okay. Yeah, that works. You can melee with Strahd and everything. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Is that your turn? Um... Yes, because quickening a spell means that I use one as a bonus action, right? So Yeah, you use a spell that's normally yeah. action as a bonus action. Right, yeah, so I can't do anything else then. Okay. You get 12 temporary hit points. Ooh, thank you. Um, bear in mind, I don't know, uh, it doesn't stack, right? It's like, if you already had higher, nope. then that stays. You don't get the 12, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I don't have higher though, so I will be taking it. Yeah, you can choose the out instead of the previous yeah. amount you had. It just basically instead of like it just keep like keep topping up, it's just like a if yeah, you have yeah, less than the amount that I just said, then you get that instead. That would become your be nice if it's stacked. Yeah, that's right. right. Imagine. Um, <laughs> Lazarin. Hello. Hello there. Oh, it's my turn. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, I came around. Uh, fuck me yeah. dead. What the fuck am I going to do He's here? planning to. Yep. <laughs> fuck it. I will take out the holy symbol of Ravenkind. Yeah, it's time. And I will cast sunlight through it. Oh. Woo! Can you read out what that spell does for me. Uh, it's just as an action, I can use five charges. Uh, and it sheds bright light in a 30 foot radius and dim light for an additional 30 feet. The light is sunlight and lasts for 10 minutes. So it's just 10 minutes. So in my dome, 10 minutes of. Big, big. Sunlight. It's basically the same, it's the same as my dome. Yeah, so you... And yeah, it's lost, it's there forever. So sunlight, but it follows you around. So and... if you were choose, if you for 10 minutes, yeah. It's... Uh, it just says 30 foot radius. I assume it's with the amulet. Uh, that's why I assume, because it yeah. doesn't, like, say. It just says... Yeah, we'll say that's the case. Oh, to make it shed. So, yeah, it moves with the amulet. Yeah, okay. So, he's five uh... charges, and we are now in sunlight. Let's have a look. Let me roll shroud. Look strawdy boy. Okay. No. Nothing happens. Yet. I will then. I will then bonus action. Uh. Cast uh, a spiritual weapon, and put it next to Rahadin. Mm -hmm. And it will take a swing. One of them. I already want it. Uh, just in front of the other do. And. Ooh, 14? 14? Yeah. Uh, that doesn't hit me. Awesome. Yeah, what a, what a shocker that is, this system. Um, <laughs> that is my turn, and then I get... Cool, excellent, I get 10 temp HP, yay! Uh, as the sunlight begins to, like, beam mm -hmm. on Strahd, you can see it already begins to kind of, like, singe him a little bit. And he just, like... Immediately turns his back to Dav, uh, like turns his back to Dav, even but still has him in his hands. Mm -hmm. He like, <laughs> looks at you and is going to, with his free hand, just like trying to like rake at your throat, just like, just, like as like a as an instinctual thing. Uh, which he does make a disadvantage now because he's in sunlight. Nice, and he has disadvantage for me actually. That was a natural twenty, <laughs> and <laughs> something else. Uh, 23 hits. Yeah, it hits. I am going to Silver Barbs. What? With a disadvantage, do so I just roll with disadvantage again? You would roll, yeah, you, just, you roll another one. Like another one, or do I roll like two dice? Hold. Is it, is it re rolling the whole thing? I will check the, thing, the wording. Is it just, here's a third die, and if that's lower, you have to pick that? Like, luck is. Or is it like. You just need to use another, roll another d20 and use the lowest roll. Okay, so it's like double the attention in that, in that regard. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Uh, dirty 20? Oh, just hits. That is oh my, my god. Oh. <laughs> Tabby, uh, you have advantage fault, right? again. But he is going to choose to do damage and not pick you up because he already has some money. No uppies? No, no uppies this time. Uh, unarmed strike. Melee weapon attack, blah, 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 blah. You take... Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And... Six, twelve, seventeen, eighteen points of necrotic damage. So it's like 28 points of damage, so... Wait, you mm. say 10? Wait, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> My brain just went. It's seven Brangers. points of bludgeoning. Oh, seven, sorry. And 18, and 18. points in the cross. 25. Uh, but this doesn't get reduced from your max HP. This is cool. purely damage. Yeah, that's so cool. 25 total. No? Mm hmm. Yeah. 18 points yeah. yeah, 25. Total. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's cool. Anything else you want to do with your turn? Or is, uh, is that it? You already gave yourself 10 HP, right? So I guess that is it. Yeah, yeah that is it. Uh, Brooks! I have to pan the camera over to Brooks behind the well. <laughs> uh, well, well, well. <laughs> so, so what's going on here, bud? Fuck. 
I mean, they're all like sort of busy, so I guess I'll step out from the well. You know, no. Uh, no, I I will step out from behind the well. Okay. Will I? No, fuck it. Before I step out, okay. I'm gonna turn myself invisible. Okay. And I know he's like fucked up, unhinged. But does he have to be such a fucking little bitch? You know. <laughs> Yes, this is the assignment that Isaac DM gave him when he went through what he went through. <laughs> um, um, okay, so where are you moving? Well, invisibly. Uh, where is Rahadin in relation to Strad again? Just show me the overlay, please. Rahadin, Strad. No, like the one with all the names on. Can I see that thing? Cool. Ignore this, by the way. That's uh, Markovian's codes. Can I be on the west side of Rahadin so that Strad is behind me and therefore not in my line of sight? I mean, how, how much movement have I got? I've got yeah, 45 right. feet, so I won't get there. I'll just start making my way over there. Um, 20. 40. You can get, like... Get, like... <laughs> you can get basically like above the magic weapon with that distance. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. It doesn't know that I'm there. I think. I hope. I think. So <clears throat> you also see like you see your brother as you like walk up to where you're going. You're looking into the eyes of your brother, and you can see this like this like this. He's oh, no. standing on his own two feet again, which is something you haven't really seen him do in a very long time. You can see that he has these what? like long, elongated claws. He's like jagged mm -hmm. fangs and these red eyes and he's like breathing very raspily as a, like very like something feral about him is he okay but are his eyes following me no okay uh oh, there's not much i can do with my bonus action uh, without giving myself away so that's my turn uh, no Mm, yeah. You get some HP. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Cool. I'm not gonna waste a key point to move an extra ten feet. Laszlo. Yep. Ten HP, baby. Twelve. Oh, fog. It is now Jorin's turn, and he is going to. Oh. You can see, I guess for you, Brooks, because you're there and like looking at him, kind of. You can see that as he's about to move, you can you can see the crimson like color kind of disappear from his eyes, and you can just hear him yell out, "No, I won't!" And he oh, just stands still, it. and that's his turn. Oh. Maybe he's not turned yet. We he's can hope. <gasps> Dagon. Oh no. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, Maybe it's a ruse added. to make us trust him, and then he's gonna eat us. Yeah, oh, sleep. Let's go. Let me see. Who's is, who's looking? Who's looking bad? The I, uh, yeah. Hmm? I was like, do I heal or do I? No, I'm technically not bloodied, so you know I'm good. Technically, I don't. Technically, because you lost so much back HP. I... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will so, just go ahead and sympathetic mending again. So here we go. Sympathetic mending. Uh, uh that's tw tw f thirteen. I can add thirteen hit points to a Lazarin and four to Jax. And that's all for my turn. But I have my reaction back now, which is exciting. Oh, you yeah, but you get. Yay, please tell 15 me. 15 temporary H points. Oh, thank God. That's more than I have now. Temporary H points. Um, temporary H points. Before we get into our third round of combat, with, I'm pretty sure Davi Ratings. kicked off the initiative order. Should we take a break yeah. here? We're about to the halfway point. Sure. Uh, yeah, I do. Sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. Take, our, take, our, take our halfway break, um, and then... I do have a clarification question to ask you real quick, though. Uh, yeah? 
Because magic weapon doesn't actually summon a magic weapon, does it? No, it, it, it makes a regular weapon magical. His scimitar. So he yeah, okay, okay, passed okay. it on his blade, and his scimitar began like blowing. His sword glows purple now. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so we'll take a break here. We'll be back for uh, the third round of combat against uh, no. this group uh, in a few minutes. Uh, thanks for being here so far. Thanks for rocking with us. We appreciate you. Uh, Scary. Chat. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying it genuinely. We'll be back in a few minutes. Bye bye. Bye.
Hello, hello. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm hello. Just surprised. Let's uh, get back into bum, this. Bum, 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 bum. Well, we can just say we wanted to go uh, sure. forward, you know. So. Yeah, can we save scum? Go. <laughs> Damn it. It is your Yeah. Turn. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, oh. Wait, before I forget, Brooks, you have to respectfully do something. Because uh -huh. uh, you moved within 10 feet of Rahadin on your turn. I need you to make a wisdom save. Uh, because yes. you also hear this oh, yeah. scream. I'm, historically, I'm real fucking good at these. Uh, yep. Even before you were unhinged. Uh, that is... Wisdom at 12. You take 21 points of psychic damage. Oh. Cool. Now, That's Daddy. A lot. Uh, question. Hmm? That would be before I got 10 HP, right? Probably. Yeah, technically. Because at the end of your turn, you get yeah. the temp Yeah, I so I need to delete space. And yeah. you would need to roll concentration for invisibility, right? Yeah. All the things. C10. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> a concentration <laughs> check is an ability check. No, technically, it is a concentration check, but the roll to make is a con saving throw. throw. So technically. Oh, okay, no, we're fine then. Okay. Uh, I don't have disadvantage then. Uh, oh, I make that. I got not 12. You're still invisible, but you did take 20 of psychic that. damage before you got your 10 page. Right, um, he's still fucking holding me, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He is holding yeah. me. So yeah, you're considered Do I have advantage on him or anything because of the sunlight? Uh, let me double check. Ooh. You do uh, have advantage. advantage from the uh, silver barbs. But I used that for a saving throw already. No, he gave no you because I gave you a second one. Oh. oh. oh there you go. Uh, but that's only on the next attack, so, uh, right? Where's she on a straight roll? Some light hypersensitivity. Uh, no, you don't gain advantage. Oh. He, he gains disadvantage. Okay. Um, so we since learned I can only make three attacks here. So mm -hmm. if I choose to make an attack action with haste, I can't. It can't be a multi-attack. How long does my haste have left? Nine turns. Nine turns. Okay, right, right. Uh, eight. Okay. Eight. Yeah, true, eight. So, first attack is a... 26 to hit. For... Wait! Hit. Can I... Can I go back and be like, Hunter's Mark? Can I Hunter's Mark him? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. That's the way he says it to Dutch, dude. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be a D10 plus a D8 plus a D6. Plus a D's nuts. Nice. <laughs> and I rolled absolutely <laughs> piss on all of them. Mm hmm. Um, Excellent. one point of damage from the Sunblade, four points of Radiant damage, or, well, two damage from the Sunblade, four points of Radiant damage. Okay. Alright. So now, now it's just straight rolls, right? Yeah. Yes. America's ass, baby. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Uh, 13. Misses. <laughs> Okay, and uh, yeah, I'll make one more attack. Ooh. Oh, natural 19. Got it. Where's my other D10? There it is. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Okay, eight. Oh! Oh! 13 points of damage from the Sunblade, eight points of Radiant damage. No, wait, I'm stupid. 13... 18 points of damage from the Sunblade, 8 points of radiant damage. Uh, I think I missed my plus 5 before, but that's okay. Okay. Anything else? Um. Oh, you can't move. <laughs> so, no, I can't move, move, but can only do anything in this turn. He can take a dodge action. He can't disengage, I guess. Yeah, no. Okay, only takes a dodge action. Okay. Uh, and Strahd that'll be my turn. He's gonna use a legendary action. That happens at the end of your turn, so you get 10 HP first, technically. Uh, oh, fuck. Ooh, 14. 
Nice. To uh, go in for a bite. Um, mm -hmm. Which is a straight roll because. That advantage, is. but this advantage goes sunlight, so yeah, they cancel each other out. Straight roll. 25. Hit. Yeah, that hits. It's close, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, bitch. You. Take. Uh, nine points of piercing damage. Oh okay. no, but here comes the big part. <laughs> and. Thirteen points of necrotic damage, which got taken away from your max hit. Um. TPK. Shut up. Wait, where do I even? Oh, so override max HP. Oh, so HP, yeah. I. You say thirteen. Thirteen. One three. So you, you got minus thirteen from it, and then uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, make a deck save, you little saucy vampire bitch. <laughs> Uh, that's with disadvantage because he's in sunlight. Talk to me like that again. Uh, so 15. Oh. oh, he just makes the save. Oh. Okay. So he will take half damage. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually going to roll the correct amount of dice this time for my hellish rebuke. Ooh. Uh, six, six, four. 16 points of damage, so he takes 8 points of fire damage. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, cool. And now it's Rahadin's turn. Uh. Uh, seeing how Strahd is in sunlight, he's going to run here. Oh, and join him. That's kind. Uh, everybody, Give him a massage. except for Aranya, is within 10 feet of him. Uh, so I need everyone except for Aranya to make wisdom saving throws. No. Even... I've been within ten feet of him, though. Do I? Yeah, he can just. It's like, he can just. Okay, wait, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm stupid. I'm. I'm like. I'm like. Oh, I should do this again, but it's. I yeah, rolled it's, a it's sixteen. A good thing. No, Ow. at twenty. Seventeen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, Brooks, you don't have to actually. You're actually five ten. No, you're just I mean... in it. You're just in it. As well, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you all made the save. Yay! Uh, so you take half damage. Hey. So instead of 18, you take 9 points oh, of psychic oh, oh, oh. Mm. Uh, And Rahadin now with his enchanted blade. I'm going to make a concentration. Yeah, concentration is fine. Okay. Uh, oh shit, I need to do that as well. Oh, I'm lying. Aranya, I need you to make the save as well, because I thought this was you, but you're right here. So never mind. So you I'm also fine. need to make a wisdom save. Go. Bad. Uh, DC would be 9 for uh, the save, yeah? Or 10. 10. 10. No, I'm good. Check, yeah. I got a 12. Nope. I rolled a 2, but I have a plus 9. That so. is only a 9. So, so you, you said full, it was what? You take the full damage, so uh, 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 18. Oh, okay. Psychic damage. Who's he attacking with the magic weapon? Uh, he's going to attack Davian since he's hanging there. He has disadvantage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, an 11 is not going to hit, is it? Uh, no, actually. Okay. Woo! Taxes? Holy yeah. shit, something missed Davian. Damn. Three times. Well, you have like a 19 AC, don't you? Uh, attack twice more, but that is not with his defense, right? It's still with his advantage. He has disadvantage to attack anyone that's not me. So. Uh, it's a 19 to hit total. Me again? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. And that is a 17. That hits as well. Does it? Yeah. Got a 16 base AC. Well, with the plus two from haste? Oh. oh, shit. Oh, yeah, no, I have 18. So that last one does I was about hit. to say, I was so like, I don't think. Yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot haste gave me AC. Okay. Uh, magic weapon. Yeah. Okay. So he tries to slice and dice you, but misses twice. But the one that does hit hits you for 12 points of slashing damage. He tries to slice and dice, but misses twice. But the second one's kind of nice. Right. Uh, he tried I'll... thrice. And that is his turn. Is I like to eat rice. And you can see that Strahd. Shut up, Koiba. 
Strahd being like in the sunlight, you can see that it, it's beginning to eat away at his skin. So good. Uh, he does not regenerate health this time. In fact, he takes damage. Yeah, it's the sunlight off the heels. And he just, like, takes damage. Yes. Uh, he. Uh, Even if it just stopped the heels, it'd be worth it. Mm-hmm. He drops Davian to the ground and is going to. Move out, so he oh, triggers attacks opportunity from. Uh, all of us, right? Not me. Jackson, I don't have reactions. Yeah. I don't. Oh, okay. So it's just Aranya and uh, Lazarus. Get an attack opportunity on them. Too bad. Can I use? Ooh. Can I use my reaction to make an attack opportunity through Jax? Yes. That's a twenty-two to hit. It's. And because I'm using a weapon attack, it's a bless strike, so I get an extra D8 radiant damage. You have a plus nine to hit, Laura. What weapons do you have in your like? What are you holding? My oh, gauntlets. Yeah. Okay, so it's with the gauntlets then, yeah. That's all I got, so, yeah. A familiar feeling for Diagon. Team does not yeah. hit. Twenty-seven for Jax to hit. Oh, uh, oh I didn't mean to read. One at a time, please. Yeah, I'll see my head. Sorry. Uh, Two damage, uh, Quibs. Uh, he takes uh, eight points of piercing damage. And magical then he takes piercing, five points. Your magical piercing, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he takes five points of radiant. Okay. Uh, Laura, twenty-seven hit. You said. Yeah. What damage does Laura yeah. roll uh, for your gauntlets? Uh... Yeah. Uh, D eight. Just one. Yep. Hiya. Seven. Nice. Uh, it's... does it add my modifier to it? It does. Yes. Uh, plus five, so twelve points of thunder. Twelve points of thunder damage. Is Onu getting Pretty an good. opportunity good. attack? Um, Does only have reactions? Uh, That's a good question. Good question. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he can move and use his reaction on his own. Oh, yeah, okay, there you go. So, yeah, he does. Uh, Davian does not have a reaction because of... Uh, what is Orion roll? Uh, uh, 13 to hit. That misses. Yeah, Ona misses as well. It's like an 11. Okay. Uh, but you being all there, cluttered up, is prime target for another fireball, and he is just gonna yeah. roast his homie with you guys. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, I use my reaction. I can't. Obviously. He's gonna just center it. Yeah, I can't absorb elements. Or right divine barrier. Oh, fuck. And that will get Brooks as well. Yarp. So I need all of you to make deck saving throws. I should have saved my reaction. Yeah, same. Oh. Uh, Dutch, 25. I have a question. Mm -hmm. If I, especially given who I'm hitchhiking with, if I make the save and Jax doesn't, do we say, like, well, the only way I can picture that working is, it, like, I leave his body and, like, make some more space? Well, I don't think you have to make the save at all. You just take half of whatever Jax takes, right? Oh, okay. I am not the person you want to be with right now. I know, this is a bad time. Well, because the point was I was going to, like, I'll divine barrier if something big happens, but now I can oh, use my reaction for the opportunity attack, so... This ring of invasion is so there. shit for me, actually. It does nothing for me. Wait, really? I never, have a react I never have a reaction to actually use it. Oh, yeah, if you should reaction to use it. Thing and stuff. Oh, my God. I never should have attuned this. It was worthless to me. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see it. Um, so. Oh, I guess. For the uh, dex saves. I failed. Anyone oh, that rolled no. oh, no. 18 or more make the save? Failed. Is it anyone that- I 24. You take half damage? Yeah. 15. He's roll like shit. 18 mm -hmm. or more is half damage. Anything under 18 is- Wait. If Daikin dies, Daikin's gone. No, I still make death saves, but if I fail yeah. on my death oh. saves, I'm gone, gone. Oh. 17. Still scary. 18, yeah. 22. <laughs> 25. 30 on the dot. So 30 points of fire damage if you didn't make the save. Oh, oh, 15 points of fire damage. Hey. If you I. Uh, fam? You take you half all... damage from me, don't you? You're I do. Someone? I do. So, but, it's, but 30 half to 15 then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then. I'm Wait. okay. I'm still. I'm holding on, baby. You see. Rania is real crispy. <laughs> uh, you see that Alazrin looks to go unconscious, and this magical energy goes around them as my death Get ward comes up. Oh, and my I'm on one HP. 
<laughs> okay. And uh, Brooks, you take half damage regardless because you're because you're a tiefling. Right, fire damage. Oh, I made the save, so and then half that again. So what do I so take? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I need to make a concentration check again. T ten. Oh uh, shit! I, I got it. Oh no. Eleven. Eleven. You make it. You need to also make a concentration check. Uh, you just take full. I have a DC yeah. fifteen. Yeah. yeah. DC fifteen for the haste. Mm. Oh no! And then Davian becomes sluggish for a turn. We're good. We're good. That's <laughs> seventeen plus nine. So, oh my damage. fucking my fucking hunter's mark drops though. <laughs> Again? Oh no. I'm so and glad that will be Strahd's turn. Jax. Oh man. I feel so useless in this fucking fight. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I am going to make one gauntlet attack against Rahadin. Okay. For an 18 to hit. That hits. Sick. For 12 points of thunder damage. Okay. And then I'm going to move towards Straw. Hit him with a gauntlet. Uh, you do trigger attacks with energy or not? I do not, because I'm mobile. Nice. As long as I try to attack someone, I don't. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, just check this thing real quick to make sure I'm not doing this wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. For Strahd. Ooh, a little natural 20 action, baby. We love it. Love it. It's eight plus a seven. Plus my five, so twenty points of thunder damage. So you rolled max, oh, right. max plus a, a, a roll, yeah. Uh, one less than max, yeah. Yeah, I mean just like. Oh yeah. Take yeah, yeah, your yeah. max, add an extra roll. Okay. Yep, so yep. twenty so points. Eight plus seven plus five. Yes, sir. Yep. Math. Took me way longer than it should have. Um, anything else? Uh, yes. I am going to use a. Uh, potion of healing. My bonus action. That's my turn. Oh, I don't know if oh, I ran this through you. If you last time, I can't remember. About like how um, I want to do healing potions from now on. Okay. Uh -oh. uh, if you're okay with that. If you choose yeah. to use an action to drink it. Yeah. If you choose to use an action to drink it, you'd get the full amount of healing. Uh, okay. If you choose to use um, bonus action to drink it, you roll. You roll. No, okay. like that. That's cool. I yeah, that's actually really cool. Well, because the logic is, if you're taking an action to drink it, you're yeah. being a bit more careful and making exactly. sure to chug down I'm, every drop. Bonus action is like a quick pull and then chuck the flask, like, and you might spill some, yeah, so you don't. I get assume the pull. The, it's spill a it's here. still an action, but roll to give it to someone else. Yes. Two four plus two is that seven is, uh, points that of healing. That new purely for uh, self. Yeah. Yeah. Um. That is. You have 11 temp HP, like that is Woo! not great. Uh, that's fine, dude. It's more than I can better. give myself. So yeah, it's better now. Better than now. To use a legendary action to try and uh, lift you up. <gasps> oh. Lift up, Jax. Yes. I don't have a daddy complex like the rest of the party. 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. And I can't find. I could have stopped that with the divine barrier if I had my. He lifts action. you up, and you can see him turn <laughs> his head to the balcony behind. <laughs> No. That's going flying, baby. Aranya, your turn. I'm scared. Okay, real quick. Um, if only you can fly. <laughs> is there... So I looked at Quicken Spell, okay. and it doesn't specify that you need to be casting two spells in the turn. It just says that it shortens the yeah, no, action it's... to bonus action. Yeah, so yeah. can I both shoot and Quicken Spell? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um... So then I'm going to use one of the holy oil uh, arrows and shoot at Strahd with my short bow. Ooh, that's a 26. That hits. That's cool. Nice. 
So just the short bow damage is six, and then what was it again for the uh, holy oil? Three d six or two? Two d six. It's a bad damage. So that's five more. I assume that's radiant that it, it does. Is, I don't yeah. know. Okay. Um, yes. And then for my quicken spell, I'm sure he won't take much of this, but my ranged spell that I have is chill touch. Okay. Um, and that's a 24 to hit. That hits. For hopefully nine damage. That's uh, necrotic, yeah? Yeah. You can see that. Well, I wouldn't uh, be surprised if he's immune, but yeah. it's a camp anyways. Immune, so. You can see oh, some of his him. wounds. Healing. No! <laughs> oh, <shut laughs> God damn it, Aranya, you had one job. <laughs> I was like, I'll make you feel pain. He's like, oh, thanks. This one She's pain. working for Strahd, guys. <laughs> go, 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 Aranya's go, working go. for Strahd. Um, is that your turn, Aranya? Yeah. <laughs> 12, 10 HP for Aranya. Um, Question for you though, Dutch. That spell, if you hit an undead target, does give disadvantage on attack rolls against uh, Rania. Well, Ooh. Uh, against me specifically? Yeah, that's what it says. An undead always... target. Yeah, fair enough. If that's what oh yeah. Um. So, so doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess it's the the hand like clings to him, right? Something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has. Okay, I guess it is just against me. So I guess that's okay. nice. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> that's low. You know, given that I have three HP, so. I would yes. like to. Hey man, it's two more than I have. <laughs> um, yeah, I would like spot, to. Huh? Yeah, everything's rough here. Move up so the dome goes over Strad. I also want to take a route where I don't go fucking near Mindfuck McGee. Um, and don't take uh, tax opportunities. I mean, you're already in that space, okay. so you can just move within the space. You can move freely. Yeah, but I don't want to fucking oh, attack take the attack opportunity. Right. So, have to go so five, either way, 10, I'm going like, 15, yeah, it's 20. fine. Uh, if I can get right up next to my spiritual weapon, that'd be perfect. So it's a little bit further forward. Uh, let me just try and figure out how. To... Oh. Mm -mm. The fuck. Because of the dome being like halfway into the ground, I can't think. Didn't know where the middle bit is. Wait. Oh, there is. Oh, good. He's got it. Bonk. <laughs> and that sunlight also moves with you, yeah? Yep, that's what. That's the point. <laughs> Getting yeah. shot in the sunlight. Alrighty. Uh, I will then. Oh fucking hell! What do I want to do? It. <laughs> I will, as an action, run away. Cast Aura oh. of Life. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in that thirty feet dome is now resistant to necrotic damage, and hit point maximum cannot be reduced. Oh, that's in this dome. Right now. Whilst in this dome. Um, I will then I will then bonus action <laughs> drink a regular healing potion. Okay. So that's two D four plus two, correct? Or is it? Is he Strahd yeah. still has Jax picked up, but he's now looking at you. That's the hey man, I go fuck. He can look at where the fuck he wants. Uh it's nine points of healing. Nine points it's of healing. Fuck all, but hey man. Come on. Biggest six of my life coming up. Let's go. It's a four. That'll do. 13. 13 temp HP. Are you sure you healed yourself on d and Beyond? Yep. It takes a sec. It always takes a while for that thing I swear I just saw it go lower than what it was before. Well, it was on one one previously, so it's now on ten. Okay. For a legendary action. Oh, yeah? Strahd is going to, while he's still holding Jax, Move up in your face. He's like dragging. Ah! That's fine. He's not throwing jacks at the fucking edge up, anymore. Bro. He's not throwing oh, jacks at the edge anymore. Hang on, I'm I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah you are. Wait, Brooks is there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll say that you move to the other side of the fucking. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, I forgot he was I forgot invisible. Forgot really were there. Yeah, yeah. I yeah I did, like I looked at it. And I was like, hang on, I'm there. Yeah, um, sorry. Uh, are you? You're so invisible to I mean, my wait, eyes. wait, what happens if he tries to move there and doesn't know that I'm there? He's just, like, like, he just bumps into you, I guess. Yeah. I'd still, I don't, yeah. My turn? Okay. Fuck! Fuck! Sephira. Stop. That's what's uh, going on in my head. Uh, 
Where's Rahad in right now? Uh, where, where right where he was, at? just face to face with uh, Davian right now. Right there. So two, I'm gonna move up in his ass. Ooh. Okay. Odd. I'm gonna. That reveals you, right, when you attack? I haven't attacked Where's yet. Attack okay, well, I'm just... a, I, made, I made an assumption. Yeah, I'm gonna attack. It's gonna reveal me. If I make a point of uh... that you're gonna attack, you fucking prick. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna brass knuckles the man. Mm -hmm. Um, do I have advantage on my first one because I was invisible? No. Oh no, I'm, I'm flanking. Right, we can right. flank Rahad in. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be a straight roll for me. Uh, that's uh, 22 on the first one. That hits. Fuck is my mouse. Uh, for 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. That is a 16 on the second one. 16... Doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bonus action flurry blows. Mm hmm Um, that is a 17. Also doesn't hit. And a 22. That hits. For 9 points of also magic damage, because I'm a cool monk who does cool monk things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and then... I'm going to back the fuck up north, and I can because I flurry blows, and he can't do anything about it. Like, to here, as far as you can get? Yup. I mean, I have an extra 10 foot, but yeah. Like, yeah, but like, but straight north. That's I just want to be around the corner. Uh, that's my turn. Daddy, Daddy right. Oh. Turn. Uh, you get 13 temporary hit points. Mm. Thanks, Dad. You can see no problem, my son. also affected by the sunlight, <laughs> and he begins to burn. Yay! Sorry, I'm hurting your brother. Brooks' his brother is beginning to burn in the sunlight. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you At can this see point, this like crimson yeah. glow retake over his eyes as he mm -hmm. storms towards uh, Lazarin. And he's going to uh, make two claw attacks. Oh dear. First one is uh, 17 plus 6, 23 to hit. Hits. Second one is a 22 to hit. Yeah, hits. Make 19. Uh, you take a total of... Uh, 14 points of uh, slashing damage. Oh. Cool. I got for 10 HP. That mm -hmm. is... Let's turn. Dagon. Uh, same old, same old. I'm gonna use my last sympathetic mending. I, I have a this. question real quick, actually. Sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh... Can I... end a charm effect on Lauren? Is he currently charmed? On Yoren? Um... Yoren. Oh... Not technically. <laughs> See, would you consider a vampire sire as a charm? <laughs> uh, I think the vampire it, sire. Uh, I mean, I would just say what the. It says, it says, I can effect. end effect causing it to be charmed or frightened. If it's not a charm effect, then it's, not, if it's not being charmed. He, the actual. It's basically a sire is a form of charm, but it goes mm -hmm. a little deeper than like it's. As, like, as, a, as a giant vampire nerd, a sire bond is a bit stronger yeah, than so like. I'd a, say that this surpasses yeah, so what, a single regular, like, no, that's, charm no, person or whatever. That's right? what. That's what I thought, but I was like, yeah. I'll ask. Yeah, it hurt to ask. Yeah, that's true. Because he could have been like, yes. I could have, but I didn't. Uh, Dagon. <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> I get that good old sympathetic mending. Only one left to use. Might as well use it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, a Lazarin, you get 15 hit points, and nice. Jax, you regain four. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I get my reaction back. I'm going to need it. 
That's me. Dumb. Like the bad person to hitchhike with. Well, yes and no, because the other thought was high AC, least likely to take damage, and yeah, therefore I like least likely to take to damage. Hit. But that's the problem. He's he's <laughs> he hitting real hard. Um <laughs> so that's my turn for now. No okay. more sympathetic mending, so we have to start 15, doing other shit. 10 HP. Thank God. For his final legendary action before they uh, recharge, he's going to just with with his one free claw break at uh Lazarin's Oh, Shock. I just, I just fixed that! Stop mm, it! Did. Uh, 22 to hit. Hit. <sighs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna silvery barbs. <laughs> oh. Genius can roll so low for the hit. Yeah. God damn he's it, man! Going so low for Give me the hit. advantage, bro. I don't think I can, actually. Well, Why? Because I can't see me? you. Oh. oh, what? Oh, it looks like I'm getting it, baby. That's cringe. Yeah. I have <laughs> literal zero use for it. Other than like a um, quick save. Elaz, right? Steve. Hello. You take nine points of budging damage. Yep. Well, as. Ten points of damage. myself. Aft. Oh, five. but the necrotic because of your thing, your aura. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I have to make a fucking. I should have made one last time as well. I've got to make a couple of con saves. Concentration checks. First, actually. Yeah, that first one passes because Shimmy's are both yeah, these are both gonna be based on ten. Second one passes. Yeah. Nice. Alright. I mean. I would like to um <clears throat> sort of maneuver around Rahadin uh until I'm to the side that I can I can see here. Strahd, and then I'm just gonna misty step behind Strahd. Okay. Oh. And haste's obviously still up, or I wouldn't be able to do shit. So mm -hmm. yep. I'm a I'ma start fucking hacking away, man. Do it. All straight rolls, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Attack okay. number one. You can do it. Thirteen to hit. Fuck. It's not hit. Attack number two. Natural twenty. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna fucking wait. I actually, need to check if I have. Oh, we long rested. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking imbue on my power as well. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Yeah, I love yeah, that. Skip, skip, skip that. Okay, so we max damage and then roll. Max damage, mm -hmm. and then. And then you roll okay. on yeah. top of it. So, so that way, you, you roll a one. You're still doing some fifteen. From Sunblade. Eight radiant damage. Eight fire damage. So 15 plus 16 is 31. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all going together? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now you roll the damage. <laughs> now you roll the damage. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's a lot of damage. Right? Davin, yeah. roll big. Roll big, brother. 31. So 35. Okay. 40. Okay. okay. Oh, 48, baby! Let's go. 48 points of damage? Yo. Yeah. Please tell me he goes in this one. Cool. It's not even look bloody jet, brother. <laughs> this is the worst thing. Oh, one more good. attack. Ah, it's a natural two. By one oh. point. <laughs> This is all right. Is that yeah. your turn? <laughs> um, Onu is going to move into melee with Rahadin, uh, but also take a dodge action. Okay. You heal for eleven. Do, do oh, I 11 heal for eleven, or do I gain? So eleven, 11 ten. Okay. Eleven ten. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, Rahadin <laughs> is going to leave Onu's space, so uh, attack opportunity. Yeah, fucking get bit, bitch. Get bit. Uh, it's a 22 to hit. It hits. Four. Um, four plus two plus four. So 10 points of slashing damage. Paid off. And Rahadin just like runs and seeing that like this fucking ball of daylight is coming from a Lazarin. He's going to just run with a scimitar and just... <laughs> <laughs> Swing at you three times. Ah, uh, nah, that's not me. 
<laughs> he's got he's got the wrong guy. Mm -hmm. He is flanking the strand, so Oh, four prick. Uh, fifteen plus nine, twenty-four to hit. Yep. Eighteen plus nine. Uh, to hit. Yep. Yep. Wait, 12, is Rahad attacking with disadvantage? No. Why? He has disadvantage from me hitting a blast turn. I call it. To attack anyone you but me. All of those then, because I rolled them all with advantage. Sorry. <laughs> uh, nineteen sorry, plus sorry. nine, twenty-eight to hit on the first one. Yep. Uh, you might want to roll damage separately for this, by the way, Dodge. Oh, really? Because I'm, I'm very low HP, so... First one hits. He, is a, he has a... What damage he does? Chance to... Uh... There's a chance to knock me. So. Uh, 13 points of slashing damage? I'm unconscious. I tried! I used all my heals on you. So your dome disappears, Ooh, yeah. the daylight turns off. No, daylight stays. Daylight stays. Just oh. Daylight is minutes. daylight. Just last ten minutes, baby. Based so on the he, thing. he's down, but the amulet is still glowing. The away. amulet is just glowing away on my chest. That's insane. But does it cast a daylight spell, or does it just nope. daylight? It just this. Uh, this one says. Holy symbol of uh, I will say. glasses on real quick. To make it, it just sheds bright light in a thirty foot radius. That the sunlight is daylight and lasts for ten minutes, or until you end the effect. It's just fucking there. Okay. That's the only reason the kills remain. It's the only reason I fucking did it. If it cost us more, we're like, fuck that. <laughs> the dome does disappear. Dome dome does does not, just it might be worth, I'll say, it might be worth keeping that. Ah, uh, we'll just. Sunlight, but anywhere. Okay. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Anywhere the light touches, I own. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's our kingdom. Um. He's going to keep on attacking me. What's from down? Yeah, he is. If he's going for it, go for it. Yeah, he is. Uh, don't pull your punches, Dutch. I mean, you've been the biggest threat, yeah. right? Like, hey, at least he doesn't have advantage on it, you know? Yep, He's the biggest threat, dude. I've done like 150 damage in this but fight. But the so. dome and the sunlight coming hit. from him. The sun is a Misses. Big. Misses. Yes! Miss the dead man. Uh, yeah. 24 to hit. Yes, that's two damage. Laura, why'd death you say so. something? <laughs> <laughs> this is your fault, Laura. Oh, no. Oh, shots next! Oh, shots next! Oh. And we'll say for the sake it. of flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh no! What well, flavor is Lazo? He's gonna just let go of Jax. Oh. And with his first attack. Oh no no no! Picks you up, which does hit. Oh. Picks you up. And as you see the no. Lazarus unconscious body dangling above the ground. Oh. I told you I would show no. you what happens to heroes in Barovia. That's natural 20. And he takes, I am his, dead. he takes his free claw and just <laughs> through your chest, holding your oh. still beating oh. heart in his hand through your back. And then drops you. And you are dead. I've got a nice big glowing chest though. That's quite nice. <laughs> oh, um, this puts me in a really bad position, man. Well then anyways, guys, so I'm just gonna... So You're really in a bad position. What about the man that's dead? Who else knows Revivify here? Anyone? Anyone? I've actually <laughs> multi classed. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I ran your code. Probably <laughs> not. Wait, what? What could that I is... <laughs> your So you all see as... Revivify right now. Yeah. Strahd drops... Oh, his lifeless corpse no. on the floor. And then he just turns to face Jax again. Uh. Turn around. <laughs> Why am I next? What it did I do? <laughs> I. <laughs> oh, no. In the arms <laughs> of Angel. Angel. Shut up, man, you're dead. Man, oh, man. Shut up. Jax. Question: Can I stand in a Lazarus space now? Technically, it's an occupied space. There's just an object there, not a creature. Shit. Yeah, you can stand on him. You can you stand, stand on, on him if you really want. It's a bit disrespectful, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his spiritual weapon's gone too, right? That would presumably. Nope. Uh, no spiritual weapon's oh. there. Nope, it because do it just summons it's it. Not, it can't it do anything. It doesn't do anything, it but it's there. It's just chilling. Uh, just trying to think. Okay. Oh. 
I'm going to throw my first gauntlet fist at Strahd. For an 18 to hit. Okay. Could have been better. Uh, eight points of thunder damage. Okay. And then I'm going to maneuver into the spiritual weapon space because I believe I can do that, correct? Like it doesn't so actually take up space. I, I can stand in the spiritual weapon space, correct? Uh... Or is it like taking up area? Uh, we've had this before. It doesn't occupy space. I don't think it technically occupies space, no. Okay, cool. Um, sure it, like, I'm going to stand there then. Bye. Oh, well. <laughs> it's going to the angels. So. Um, And then I'm going to hit Rahadin with my other attack. Okay. <clears throat> i to try and make sure they have disadvantage attacking you guys. Um, That's a 22 to hit. Uh, what was that, sorry? Uh, 22. Two days, yes. For a total of ten thunder damage. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to use my last defensive field to gain. Wait, no, I don't need to do that. I still have 10 HP. Just kidding, never mind. Um that's my turn then. Aranya. Um, so I realized I've been taking too much damage. Uh oh. I'm resistant to necrotic damage. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how much necrotic damage I've taken throughout this fight, but I should have only taken half of it. <laughs> Not much, I feel like. Most of your damage came from like fireballs and shit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I took too much of that too because I had just done Blessing of the Raven Queen, so I had resistance, so I took that HP back. But, um. Yeah. It is what it is. So that, that, that's on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. So I suppose I will shoot uh, another Holy Oil arrow at Strahd. Uh, fingers crossed. Smile. Got it. Okay, that's a 26. That hits. <laughs> that's only four from the arrow itself. <laughs> We're doing great. It should be, baby. And then 11 radiant. Uh, okay. How do you want to finish him off? No, shh. Because oh. he's in sunlight. Can't turn into mist. Can't escape. Oh. Just gets destroyed and reaches zero hit. So, Rania. Oh. So good this all my kill. You've spent years <laughs> upon years upon years plotting, planning, finding the right group that you would think would take you this far to destroy Strahd, and your moment has arrived. How do you finish him off? So, they don't even realize that this is what's going to end him when they shoot him. They see a Lazarin go down and just all these thoughts of like, you've led another group to their deaths. What are you thinking? Why would you think that this time you would be successful? That there was nothing different about this time than the last time. Like just all these self-deprecating, what the fuck were you thinking thoughts going through their head. And then they start to tear up a little and they're like, fuck it, I gotta do something. And so they shoot at him, and the shock <laughs> when he goes down. So, like she, they they just fall to their knees and they're they're sobbing. <laughs> so you fire the arrow, and it hits him straight in the chest. You can see that his entire being begins to crack. From these cracks, it's just like this like radiant light emits. Cracks begin to spread over his entire body, face everywhere, until he just crumbles, just explodes into just thousands and thousands of pieces of dust and and, and like hardened rubble. Just... You've destroyed Count Strahd. At, when that happens, Yorin drops to his knees, and you can see his eyes turn back to normal, his fangs retract back inside, and his claws turn back into 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 normal human hands and he just drops to his knees. Rahadin looks at you all He's and gonna is in shock of what just happened. The man he's trained and served for ages, if not millennia, 
has perished. And you see him beginning to dash. And he dashes for the ledge. Mm -hmm. Chicken! Off. Jumps off. You just hear a scream, a long scream, that suddenly just silences. I don't trust that. So, no longer initiative. I oh, assume I'm in. no longer scared. Oh, I yeah, want all to. That, yeah, that, that, that whole insanity thing that happened to you, gone. Like that. Just, poof. just oh. gone? Immediately? Just gone. Immediately. Okay. What about so, Yorin? Gonna... Yorin is on his knees on the floor, like kind of like raspily like, breathing. The Lazarin is on the floor dead. What do you guys I'm I'm running over to Lazarin. Aranya, yeah, crawls, basically crawls over, but <laughs> goes over to Lazarin as well. I'm going to kneel down moves. next to him. I'm going to hit a little button on like my the abdomen of my armor, mm -hmm. pop out two little paddles, and uh, <laughs> scratch them together a little quick and yeah, be like, no, clear! The fight defibrillator, let's go! And uh, crush the diamond between the paddles as I do that. Uh, cast oh, that's sick. Eye on a that's such a sick flavor, I love okay. it. Can everyone deafen for a moment before? Oh, oh fuck! Wait, wait! wait. Oh, no, can I? Oh, I'm real can sorry, I do I something? Can't. Stop! Wait, wait, I, I, I I'm doing something. something. I want to do yeah, something. Just, just, just wait. Just wait. We'll, 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 wait. Okay. What is it you? What, what is it you doing? As I see that Jax is getting ready to fucking save Lazarin, can I run over and get my fucking tears across the of Lazarin and put them on Jax? <laughs> okay. I'm not the only okay. One Hold on. What's happening? Here? Not nothing. Okay. It's a quick little thing to help Jack. It's basically now, just guidance. Not, so. Okay. Now everybody. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, am I deafening? Yeah, everybody. For now. Fuck. Wait, wait. Yes, touch. How's it going? There's a Lazarin soul. Like, you can, it's kind of like being pulled towards the heavens above. Kind of like levitating. It's like weird space between. It's like weird like space between the realm of the living and the realm of the dead. You're slowly being ushered to what lies beyond. And you see Jax moving to your body and beginning to do what he's doing. First question I have to ask. Does a lad soul want to go back? There's still work to do. Yes. And for the sake of this, I really only need. I want Soko to also end up. Okay. The no rest. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. I added him. No, but this bitch ain't with me. Hey, Quinn. My um, bad. My bad. Okay. So when you are, you know, you know, uh -huh. um, is there anything you say or do to kind of like aid what, a certain memory with Elazarin that you have in mind? Like, what is the main driving force, the main motivator for you to try and bring? Uh, as I do it, I'm just gonna say. Without you, this party will fall apart. We need you. This is your first death, Elazarin, correct? Nope. Oh, second. I died in the uh, big uh, Steven fight. fight. I died in Hell's Fight. Mm -hmm. River fight in that one. Let me just uh, whip out my fucking character death. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. I see. Okay. Yeah. So, this doesn't um, work. It's your as, you, as you yeah. do that, uh, yeah, man. so cool. <clears throat> And, and or uh, Jax, and basically the the main motivator is like he's ne he's a necessity. You need him, or else all of this will fall apart. Um, persuasion check. Give me my persuasion. Okay. Um, you have an extra D four because of that. Giving you so. <laughs> All right. Um, so that would be a ten. However, I'm also going to use my f <laughs> choking. 
No. <laughs> just like, oh, I've noticed 10 to, to charisma. It's, it's persuasion, so it'd be plus 2 to 12. Plus, I'm going to use my flash of genius. Okay. To add plus 5 to the roll. 17. DC was 11. This is just second. Yeah. I want everyone else to undeaf. <clears throat> I'm nervous. I'm not happy. Also, I had a realization that I'll have to tell you later, but it might have implications. So, as Jax crushes the diamond, that's what you hear him say that without a Lazarin, the party will fall apart, that the party needs a Lazarin doing what they do. Mm. And as he says those words, you can see the like dust of the diamond that's being used in the spell. And it turns into this like white light enters a Lazarin's chest and the Lazarin's eyes are open. <gasps> oh thank god! Uh... Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> you just hear the biggest sigh of relief in your head, Jax. <laughs> I yeah, guess I could have you, like, kick out you the nearest this diamond, because I, I forgot that you were in Jax. I guess you could have yeah. been a oh, well, witness side of this, but oh well. I would have. <laughs> so we're like fucking just covered in like viscera. Oh, yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> is it what? Well, is it over? This was <sighs> cool. I, I think so. Thank oh. I will cast the fucking cure wounds at second level myself. <laughs> Is Aranya still like down on her knees, fucking crying? They are. They like as soon as he sat up, they like basically rocked back to be sitting on their butt, leaning against the okay. wall, with like their knees are tucked and they're just like collecting themselves, but also again very <laughs> shaky, but in a different way <laughs> than before the fight. <laughs> that means gonna fucking the sunblade. And oh. walk over to Aranya and put his hand on their on their shoulder, and offer his his other hand to like grasp theirs and pull it to pull them to their feet. Yeah, they flinch at first, but they'll realize what's happening and stand up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just oh, sort of turn off the dust and like dust dust you off a little bit and like. <laughs> Jack, good so shot. Your head. Um, are you cool if I stay <laughs> here for a bit? I feel real weak right now. Uh, I can fuck you up. Oh, if, if and I will cast a level to cure wounds on Daigon and a Lazarin. Oh, can we target Daigon? What, he could just target himself? And I'm gonna say I can. You? I'll oh. say that if you like, <laughs> yeah, I'll say knowing that she's in there, I'll say that you can. Yeah. How's, uh, how's around you looking health-wise? Uh, they could definitely, they're, they're digging into their pack for a potion. <laughs> <laughs> Daigon, you're getting one out. Thank you. Daniel's gonna pull one out as well. And uh you sure yours. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude. Lazarin, you get 19. Can we kick this guy? Please. Yes. Dutch laughed! It's okay, DM laughed. Cool. Yeah, but there's a time. And uh Davian is fucked, by the way. Like he is We're all fucking fuck. Yeah, we're all fucked. I'm but... I'm great. Well <laughs> yeah, because you were running around invisible fucking being a little bitch. Um, <laughs> Damien raises up uh, his fucking potion bottle and like, you know that thing where you link arms mm -hmm. and both drink like that? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so Damien's gonna sort of take Aranya's wrist and like yeah, lift it Aranya up. Yeah, Aranya will partake. <laughs> and then just like, hook his arm around theirs and just chug his fucking potion <laughs> yep. just throw it back. Uh, I'd like to run a Oh, sorry. No, you go. You go. So, so Jax also hears, I hate to be that person, but what do we do about Brooks's brother? And as you say that, like, you all kind of, like, your attention goes to Warren, who's on his knees on the floor, just like, <clears throat> like, very raspily breathing. I'm already over there. That was the first thing I did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, running over to Brooks as well. What do you do? Just, just hold him. He like looks at you and he just kind of 
You can see that he's trying to say something, but he's very low in energy. His breath is raspy, so he's, he's trying to, like, utter some words, but it just gets cut off, and it's, like, at the first, like, sound. And he just looks at you, and you can see, like, tears welling up in his eyes, and uh, he tries to, like, embrace you, but halfway up, his arm, like, lowers again because he can't physically lift it. He is exhausted, oh. uh, and you, you don't know what the main cause of this is. This is very similar to what you remember mm -hmm. him being. Um, you know, weak, sickly. Oh, uh, but you... Something's different. He... That sickly pale undertone to his, like, otherwise copper skin uh, that you remember isn't as present as it was, you know, in your memory. I'm going to turn back and make sure that Lazarus is no longer dead. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm running towards you as, at the moment, you see me sort of have this, like, it's staggered at first, the run, like, as I stand up and sort of, like, lurch yeah. forward, but I'm, like, right time, I'm getting straight to um, your own side, and I'll cast Cure Wounds at first level on him, trying to, like, I assume there's, like, sunburn marks on him type sort yeah, of thing from the sunlight, is, uh... and I'm just trying to, like, get them cured, <clears throat> and I will then turn to Brooks and just put, like, a hand on his shoulder and go, you okay? What does he need? Is he fine? Uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and I will look over at the wheelchair that he was in originally, and I'm gonna pull that over. And just like take seat, take seat. I'll I'll pick him up. He like um, looks, at, looks at you, Brooks, and just mind helping a hand. I will effortlessly, because he weighs fuck all. <laughs> Very skinny. Put him in the chair and he just kind of like sits back. Looks at you and like at this point, like, like tears are streaming down his face and all he's saying, kind of like in repeat, just kind of like while not rocking back and forth, but just like looking at you and kind of, seems kind of stunned in a way. Just, I didn't know. Does he still have fangs? No, his fangs retracted. Okay, can I? Has we killed Strahd. Can I do a medicine check on him just to see if there's any thing lingering from what I would assume would be some sort of vampire? I don't know what my okay. knowledge on it. vampires and check. wounds and stuff. Okay, so the question is, is what for... strain of vampire lore are we dealing with? Are we dealing with yeah, the exactly. killing the sire removes the vampirism? Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> uh, that is a twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Oh. I love the idea that Daigon reads up on vampire lore. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a very purely lore. I, care. I mean, Daigon reads a lot of smut, and there's lots of vampires in smut. Yeah, say, so, all, all Daigon's lore is just vampire smut. It's, like, it's, it's just like, Twilight. The vampire. Why is he dead? Uh, it's just Twilight and Vampire Diaries. So, he's jacked him off. You you look over, and besides the obvious things, where like he's very skinny, very yeah. like very pale still, but uh, like he doesn't look healthy. Check his eyes, and his eyes seem to normal again check his like ask him to open his mouth and you check his teeth does he have a pulse or they're normal yeah. uh, that you right? like listen for a heartbeat and you hear a very very weak heartbeat but there's a heartbeat um, no as you lingering kill Strahd, by the way the cloud just yeah. like broke open there's sun beaming down for the first time and sun is it bothering forever. it like and, and then yeah you, you due to being in the shadow fell Sunlight doesn't happen, but somehow no. in this pocket of the shadow fell after defeating Str uh, Strahd, sunlight, and he's not like burning. He's not. Cool. I've got enough like clues. I'm saying, okay, he's if he has some sort of vampire at the real early stages and it's not affecting him yeah. yet, or it's gone. So that's my main like. Well, that's good. And I will then uh, just sort of look <laughs> at Brooks and I will say, "Do you need me here? Do you need some time alone with your brother?" You're muted. You are muted. <laughs> the fuck do you mean do we need you here? Okay. Sit down for 30 seconds. I did that a little bit earlier. I had a good <laughs> lie down. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Fuck me. As you uh, uh, are having a conversation, sorry. I'm gonna just throw something else at you. This is awesome. Oh, fuck. Um, a few minutes go by after you 
you've done strong. Kind of pick yourselves back up. The whole place is gonna start fucking exploding. Isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> the it ground's is. gonna start rumbling. The ground begins it to is. shake. Yep. <laughs> and the very castle, castle begins to crumble. And you can you see. We should have explored. You can see that the the ledge that you're on, the overlook, crack appears, and it begins to almost like fall into into the town of Barovia below you. Um, do we and at that the, point, as you're all kind of looking, up, as you're all kind of like looking around, like fuck, what do we, what do we do? This group of group of ravens fly in, turn into their <sighs> human form, and just yell, "Hold on to each other!" And they all like put hands on like random people in your like little cluster, oh. and you get transported somewhere. Okay, you see? Bones. Oh no, in one arm. Oh, one they're arm not around around <laughs> Oh no, we get in teleported. Uh, uh, you, okay, then uh, never mind. Your vision goes blurry, and you lose consciousness for, for a few seconds, but when you regain it, you're back in Valaki, in the town square, surrounded by corpses of both people, but also vampires, werewolves, other monstrosities that lurk in the woods. Um, it seems that the losses were great on the townspeople's side, but the battle was won. All the Keepers of the Feather, like 10 plus of them, all surround you. Thank you. Uh, like, begin to look over you. You need anything, you do this, do that. But then before they even get to that, the ground begins to shake again. And it is at that moment that all of you, uh, like you the party, uh, um, see, again, around you, your vision becomes... It's like kind of like obscured, but this time you're in this black void, and this larger than life raven swoops down in front of you. And with a flash of light, you see before you a, a again a larger than life woman wearing black feathery wings, wearing this expressionless like stone mask. Mm. Arania kneels. Accompanying her is a broad looking human with bright blue eyes, wearing a blackened plate with white yeah. hair and a beard. Um, and the Raven Queen looks at you, Aranya. No need to kneel, Aranya. You did well. Yeah. You did my exp. And Abaran looks at you and just kind of gives you like a nod of approval. He said his name. Yeah, they when yeah, when Aranya knows who he is, so like, they have know. like I know we they don't. have like a little bit more of almost like a military look to their stance when they when they. <laughs> Stand back up. Like, they're at work now. <laughs> kind they're of. Thing. Work <laughs> this is my work husband. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't have much time. Strahd's corruption is fading, and the Shadowfell is expelling Barovia. Seems it's an invader. Holy fuck. I can help with choosing a location where you get expelled to, making it so you don't land where. Barovia used to be, as, well, that land no exist. Everybody. Um, All the people, all that like stuff. That I just need to borrow your strength. Just hold oh, on God, to me. Nothing. Of course, <laughs> you Uh, so as you all kind of like try and like grab a hold of of, of the Raven Queen, um, <laughs> you all close your eyes, and Aranya, with like a fading as as your consciousness begins to fade again, you hear this one one more thing in the back of your head. Aranya, your next objective is to make sure these people settle in properly in their new home. Once that is done, I'll send for you. I'll we'll work together as well. Yes, Matrix. Yep. They are set to go. <laughs> and as you all lose your consciousness, uh, you reawaken. And above you, it's this bright sun, blue sky. As you're in the town of Valaki, you're no longer in the Shadowfell. 
and you can see that the town has grown. And you recognize some buildings when you look around. It seems that what the Raven Queen has done is instead of transporting the whole province of Barovia, it just took the places where good people still lived and kind of merged them, turning Valaki into this one large city. It kind of made a combination of Valaki, kind of Barovia, and some other villages you may have not seen. It all kind of like pushed them together to make one town, city. Does Aranya recognize anything or anyone from Kresk? Um, not in, <laughs> not in your immediate surroundings, but you know, you could explore uh, at some point uh, <laughs> whenever this is all said and done. Um, and no, when you all kind of reawaken, look around and like temperature-wise, you this climate you're used to. Uh, you reckon somewhere on the new continent. And then Davian. Uh, a map and like appears in your hand. Uh, and this is a map of Interesting. Eldar. Uh-huh. But with one slight addition to it. Um, let me quickly just see you in Discord. Hold on, send this to the group. It's in Discord. Uh, boom. Yo, new map yeah, just drops. New map just dropped. <laughs> Up on the update, boys. Okay. You notice that. Uh... Oh, just dunked oh. down. Oh, no, that's, actually, down. that's actually good for us. That's quite nice. With a sort of hole. Where are we? Yeah. Just above salt hold. Nice. Oh, yes, it's I was looking for the new Dharma. Yeah. What do you guys do? Holy um, fuck, the sun oof, feels right? so good. It feels so good. I think I'm going to bask in it, honestly. What? I Jack, you hear in your head. What day is it? I, I the time is weird know. there. I mean, I can yeah, ask. Uh, yeah, you could. I mean, how would I, anyone here know, though? I will cast know. sending. Okay. Oh, that's yes. okay. Yeah. I'll get <laughs> <laughs> fucking general. <laughs> the fucking <Get> general. Fucking get in. Jam Cron's getting a fucking sending message from me. <laughs> hey, weird question. What day is it? <laughs> um, We've been sort of. We lost track of time. <laughs> you got a message back. Hello to you too. It's the twenty fourth. Oh. Oh. Wait, what month? What month? Just, just says the twenty fourth. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's the twenty fourth of, of, of September, so it's been three. Uh, three now days. this bitch. It's been a year and three days. If this bitch only days. said, if this bitch only said twenty fourth, we are cast sending again. <laughs> hey, I need to clarify a bit better. I need the full date, please. <laughs> it's we've been somewhere else. September. One year. Year. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's no. Fine. They, we had what a, year, damn it! What did <laughs> they take time? Three days have passed. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sure. So basically, it's, it's been ten years and three days. Half the time we feels to us we spent in Barovia has passed here because well, it feels so, like okay, so the, way, the way time works is that way, I have like a this, this like mathematical equation yeah. for it. It's like the first day <laughs> okay. is that twenty four hours, like that. The first day is equal to whatever. The next day. Only 20 hours will pass in the real world. The day yeah. after, only 16 hours will pass. The day after, only 12. Until the point where time stops passing altogether. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so we're immortal there. <laughs> no. Time, time, is anyway. time doesn't pass, but we still age. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, it's been Shit. three days. Yeah, you, uh, you're you in this weird, like, merging of, of different settlements all, all across Barovia that all kind of got... Push together. Was now, there anyone the like question. traveling through and that the town just kind of like popped in Squish on them. top of them? <laughs> no, 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 no. Could you imagine? Like, look at this beautiful campsite. <laughs> you see like a guy like halfway through the floor of There's just house some or legs with some shoes sticking There's out a, from a underneath. family of five on their We got the Wicked Witch, guys! Yeah. Ding, dong, some fucking so, an things come out. Um, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> well, we need to take. Um, a Lazarin's brother oh, back enough. to his dad. I a mean, Lazarin's yes. brother? Excuse me? 
I mean, Brooks's brother. I don't know why I said it last week. That oh, yeah, he's a long way from home. Is a yeah. long... It's a bit of a long trip. How about what a drink? drink? How about a drink? I'm sure they haven't got any good drink here, but I'm sure someone's caring. The wizards wine, like the the wine, the winery did make a supply drop, right? <laughs> um, yeah, but it's gonna be piss, Shadowfell, Barovia, as you, uh, paint wine. As you kind of like begin to try to find a place to drink, um, the keepers of the feather do approach you, and uh, one of them, like they're all cloaked up still, they're all all thrown off by this hall. Um. Don't know where we are. Don't know what happened. We'll figure that out. Before we go our separate ways, I have to ask. Can we get <laughs> sad for Daphne. Is that was part of you. Yeah, it was a loner. I <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. 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 You know, fucking I just give him this look of like, dude. You <laughs> can't see about that. I'm glaring from inside Jax's eyeballs. <laughs> so I am looking at you with support in my eyes. <laughs> One eye. Jax is conflicting emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Two sets of eyeballs in the eyes. Wait, if oh, you God. you don't really you know need it anymore. Right. But it is a very important part of a culture and a history that apparently has lasted a lot longer than we were. Well, we could we keep that time. alive. This you know, I mean, really, like, we are an important part of your history now. Oh my god. <laughs> Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> disadvantage. She makes that bad. Hold, hold, hold. Let us have your cultural <laughs> relics because we're now part of it. We're important enough that we should have. Uh, this belongs in the museum. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, like, like, what, what is your role, right Davian? <laughs> bad. Good. Yo, after this, we'll go eat a mummy. How bad? Bad. Bad. Okay, I'm going to use my reaction flash of genius to give you a plus oh. five. Oh, my God. Okay, that makes it a 14. You know? They look at you. This is how we die, not from Strad. <laughs> not a lot for us. <laughs> that goes along. Some way. might say more than Don't anyone else. <laughs> oh. We had a deal. I gave the blade to you to for use. Now that fate be misplaced. You tried to make a deal, Davio. And, you know, it's a totally rather perverse. How would you feel, and you just start to hear Daigon's voice coming out of Jax, how would you feel if someone asked for the Tears of Kasuth on Loner and you in good faith agreed, and they're like, nah, I used it better, so it's mine now. Aranya leans to Brooks, Whoa. and they're like, I thought the other one was obsessed with relics. <laughs> I'll, uh, well, I was much. the one that did the stealing. Or at least me, me, <laughs> me Kess, and Daigon. I look at here and I go, We're mostly no making fun. sure they you know that the group is not in on this. <laughs> this is a Davian. <clears throat> I, I very slowly reach to my belt and like just wrap my hand around the fucking hilt. Take it off my fucking belt. And I'll, I'll I'll just take a step back and speak the command words. The blade comes out and just give it a little one last. Before before fucking summoning the blade and fucking handing it over. I fucked him up with that what? fucking blade. I fucked him up. I fucked him up so fucking good. Let's. And I will just have not. to try my best to remember the feeling of just slicing up a fucking vampire lord, 
Thank you for lending us the sword. We needed it. And go Barovia. <laughs> Thank you for all you've done. Perhaps in due time when we had a few months to our bearings set up and figure out what to do next with our Perhaps we'll meet again. I'm sure we'll all have plenty of questions. It's a new land where we are. And here it is. Maybe we should... I know that I'm not normally the let's do the good thing person. Maybe we should at least let them copy our fucking maps before we leave. Yeah. Look at Jax. Damn fucking map man himself. He's <laughs> also map man. Okay. Yeah, but you got the special map, bro. Actually, map I don't man Gandhi. Right oh. Um. <clears throat> if you do offer the maps to kind of like quickly copy. Uh, yeah, like we'll we'll give him our maps to like fucking copy out while we're chatting and shit, right? Like, yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. they don't know anything. Yeah. We also give them the yeah, brief, imagine. like thirty second version yeah. of this is the new continent. Mm -hmm. Are you able to send again today? Oh yes. Um, it Shall might talk? behoove us to let Elder One know that a new town has surfaced. Yep. That would be Otherwise, that might cause problems. Hmm. Yes. We don't uh, want them to send the army. Who in Eldon? I guess, I mean, fuck it. What? Why can't I remember anyone's? Council? Why can't I remember anyone's fucking name? Who's the fucking trade bitch? Fucking what's her name? Is that Primus Dalish Tari? Yes, yeah, that that's the one. Primus. Yeah, Didn't even look Primus. at my bitch. Yeah, it's Primus. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's Primus something. I'm like, oh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> my brain's goo. Should have just said the Primus. No, that's true. I could have done. I will uh, cast sending again to the Primus um, and say, <laughs> no, how can I do this in 25 words? <laughs> Got you. I'm ready. Uh, New town on map. <laughs> Between here and here. <laughs> Figure it out. That's a good start. Barovia <laughs> has arrived <laughs> just underneath Southwold. Should probably come check it out. Trading down. opportunities. Get a response and don't quite understand mean but send the cartographers out to scout in the meantime fill us in when they cool they're gonna send some people <laughs> also technically it wasn't Barovia it was just Valaki but anyway well no like, like it's different settlements all over all that kind of oh yeah but barovia parts of but, barovia but, 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 barovia yeah. is also is the is, yeah. <laughs> is, yeah. Yeah. so it's basically okay. uh instead of the entire realm being brought with just the places where people i have just basically kind of said yo together. atlantis is rocked up in uh south america yeah. smiley face so <laughs> yeah someone's you know, basically like... <laughs> salt bayed all the towns from barovia right, just, across the new turn into like a, like yeah. a larger city and like they're definitely no, like one city they amalgamated into yeah, one yeah. settlement. exactly um as the, the keepers of the feather the like, united oh, cities of barovia uh and awesome. well that's good to know um we have power to transport you one more time if there's anywhere you'd like to go. We should really um, go wherever your home is. And Yoren will kind of like look at you, Brooks. Where do you live now? Uh, I mean, we're sort of fucking crashing an Eldalon, but. We're gonna have to take you home to dad, but that's gonna be a fucking trek, so. You don't have to do it. They just said they'll teleport us somewhere. I'd like to. 
never really travel, right? And seems as good as an opportunity to meet her. If you wouldn't mind. I don't know how I feel about taking my... <sighs> yeah, you're older, but fuck you, you're my little brother. Taking my <laughs> little brother to a brothel feels a bit... He, like, and looks at you and, like, he's, he brothel. lifts what? himself off his chair and, like, stands on his own two feet. It still works. I don't think I'm as sick anymore as I was. I need some time. I would like to just not have to say goodbye to you again after I've seen you for years. Well, sure, just, uh, you know, next time you're going to do something fucking stupid, maybe talk to someone first. Today. Fucking hell, Brooks, we just fucking... It's we just got and he back, kind of, like, man. Coughs was back in his chair. Doing the dumb shit's my fucking job, all right? You're supposed to be the smart one. Trust me, we know, brother. I... We know. As, as Brooks is acting like this, it, like, connects in my brain that this, like, he's not acting, like, scared of us anymore. He's not acting terrified. I'm thinking maybe he's better. So I'm gonna leave Jax's body and go over just to, even though Brooks probably won't feel it fully, but go give Brooks a hug. I just have, like, ghost and... arms come around me. Yeah. I get ghosted, like, from I ghosts. Also, it's a final test, because if he's not, like, flinching that someone's coming up to him and l laying the hands on him, half their hands, that he's not freaking out, so... So, yeah. I'm gonna um, miss that sword so fucking much. How bro. does a ghost hug feel, DM? Uh, okay, well, there's, there is some resistance. Like you feel, you feel yeah. a little bit of... I just it don't feel as like heavy very, or as uh, present as I should. A, a blanket. Like, very pillowy. Very, yeah. like, 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 a, like, a, like a soft blanket, kind of. Oh, and it's cold because like I like give a, off I give off a is, chill, so I'm also very cold. I just give Dagon like a like a pat on my hand. Yorin like registers that a ghost suddenly like okay. appears in front of him, uh, but doesn't seem to flinch. He's he spent a lot of time in Barovia. He seems weird. Seems yes, uh, all over the place. Um, not only that, but like <laughs> he just looks and he just goes. <laughs> I just we've dealt with enough shit. I need a few days to cover and. Better. I um. I don't feel like I did before. Strahd showed up. You know. The that part of the agreement. It. Yeah. Moment. All we. All we had to do was, you know, fight Strahd and. Uh, deal with some horrifying shit and for the record by the way the last guy that even came closer to doing what we just did is a fucking saint now I just, i'm just putting it out there i don't mean to come like i don't mean to sound like a dick guys or i know it, that saying like well you know we're probably body history now i know that sounds a bit like presumptuous or whatever but they literally had a saint who fucking failed to do what we just did so fucking only they kept his bones in the place and it kept the whole place safe. Imagine, imagine how good our bones would be to them now if they were still there. I'm just saying. I don't mean to. We like, can take like, those like, out and test them. I, they aren't <laughs> here anymore. I'm not saying this in front of them. Why would they're I do right that? Next to us. That's they were there. terrible. They're, like, to they're, they're right there. Like they're definitely yeah. there. We'd have left. Well, then, then I'm saving ones. this fucking shit for later because there's no way I would just be in front of the homies like, they should really just let me keep the sword. I mean, okay. like, oh, like, okay. I'm literally better than their deities. Um, I go fuck themselves. They're dead ass. Not just me, all of us. <laughs> he fucking died. A saint isn't a deity. It's just they, they basically are. Yeah, okay, demigod. Where, if, that, we back, we if we come back, if we come back in a year's time and they aren't throwing the fucking ragtag fuckwits <laughs> festival, <laughs> okay, I'm going to be so pissed. Uh, RTFF? They, RTFF? They, 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 they look at you. Fuckwit fest. Uh, and <laughs> fuck fest. <laughs> fuck fest. <laughs> Not fuck fest. SWF. <laughs> anyway. I like fuck wit fest. <laughs> like I says, send you or are you? I, mm, important questions one? first. How familiar do you have to be with the place? No, no, before we go anywhere. Don't you dare say plane of fire. <laughs> No, I was going to say the fucking oh, weeping okay. mug in Eldalon, okay. which they don't even know exists or have ever. But they don't know anywhere on this continent. Right. So I assume... Exactly. Right, but... Anyway. Brooks. Before we go anywhere... <laughs> Why do you look like you're about to proposition us? Why do you look like you're about to proposition us? 
Gangbang? Is anyone quick, coming quick with us? What? What's your plan, Aranya? Like, are you staying here? Or are you? Oh, uh, yeah. I've yeah, I've I've just been given. Uh, I need to stay here and and help them settle in, help myself settle in. Really, it's. I don't even know how long it's been since I've been on this plane. Um, really long time, like a really long time. Like <laughs> centuries. You're you're the, you're the history man. So uh no I I'm to stay here and help them all settle in. So So Aranya, you could say you might have some administrative power. <laughs> they just Let's like, give it up, man. Lightly chuckle like the slightest of smiles <laughs> and a little like puff out of their nose. <laughs> As I, I, I sort of, I just like, I lean in. You know, like, it's the one who dealt the killing blow. You know, you might, you know, you could, well, it's a few, give it, I'll give it a few months. We'll talk, about, we'll, we'll talk about, we'll talk about fuckwit We'll talk about They're looking face. away like, you idiot. Like, <laughs> um, I'll at least be sure that your names carry some kind of weight around here. But I'm, <laughs> That's about all I can really promise. <laughs> Perhaps a festival. Joran, like, still I, registering the question I you asked? I don't really do parties, but... Maybe. I, he suddenly, like, pipes up. Hmm. Roughly 1,350 years. I'm... You're all old as fuck. About 1,350 years. I look amazing for my age. <laughs> That's very true. You should well, be proud. I, the thing is, I don't know exactly when Barovia sent away. I just know that Sundering happened about uh, 800 years ago or so. Well, it's safe to assume anywhere between 12 and 1400 years. Barovia ago. Oh. Lean into um, Aranya as well. And just as I am. When we do get remembered, please don't put us down as the ragtag fuckwits. I just. I have just, some other heroic, possible names just, you could choose from. Just an heroic group from the material plane will, will do. Please. I mean, we'll I, talk. We'll I, talk. We can, we can call it fuckwit fest. No, no, we're not. like ragtag fuckwits, but I have other names. I have a list. No, and I'll, just, I'll ask, uh, ask just an unnamed girl. heroic group is so. It, that's fine. I don't I'll be, we have a name. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you don't what. I'll do you all a favor. I'll be Saint Davian, and you will be my companions. How about no? Yeah, I, if anyone's, sure, if anyone's, anyone's going to be the same saint to be the holy man that died in the fight, the one who died in the fight and was reborn. Oh, after. Well, shouldn't I really be the saint because I did really? kill the. Demon. The holy Saint Davian who wielded the Sunblade and his lowly subordinates who, <laughs> you know. Man. Lowly subordinates. <laughs> I hate you all so much. Thought you need to check Davian at some point. No, come on, you know I'm they just having you. I'm, I'm having you, I'm having you. But, you know, I did go toe-to-toe <laughs> to to with fucking... Doubt. <laughs> I did go toe-to-toe to to with Victor Von Vampire and fuck him up Victor so Von good. Victor Von Vampire? <laughs> So they can remember him when you are. His new name. <laughs> anyway. While they're having that conversation, I will just turn to Aranya. And I'll be like. I don't do no I I don't normally do nice things. <laughs> the way that it came out. Was so, <laughs> was so good. <laughs> So you're gonna take this and you're gonna shut the fuck up. And I will give them a cask of ale and a bottle of wine. Where the fuck did you pull a cask of ale yeah. from? Yeah. It's not like a like a fucking it's a barrel. Like, like little... it's only one of the like, like the shitty cask. cask. Small yeah. Um well, yeah, Aranya will just kind of look at them in their hands and just be like, you're going to give me this and you're not going to share. I've got my fucking own. Just... I... You're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. 
you've got a bunch of people that are really happy that they're not being fucking oppressed anymore. Oh, this is mine. I don't know what you thought I was going to do with this other than drink it myself. That works. Uh, <laughs> and don't go into the jungle without getting some of the fancy medicine that stops you getting horrible illnesses. Oh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give them five I'm... of those right now. <laughs> Just I mean, five jungle remedies, dude. Oh, actually, actually, probably find like an apothecary or something that can reverse engineer this and figure out how to keep making it because. There's jungle everywhere, and it's all pretty rough. So I'll Most of the food sources are in there. Did yeah. Jax oh. get the journal out for me, or is he ignoring that request? Uh, if you ask for it, absolutely. It? Yeah, because yeah. I'll have him turn to the page that has the list of various names that Daigon has written down and show it to Aranya if they would like to choose a different set of names to <laughs> talk about them It's for. just DM that to Briar, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, it's on It's on the World Anvil. It's publicly available yeah, in my character. As, as, as I do that, I'm just going to, like... A player, uh, it's DM the... I'm, I'm um, taking a quill out of there as well. It's publicly available, just... but yeah. I'm gonna put a little star next to ragtag fuckwits. There's already a star next <laughs> like, to ragtag fuckwits. <laughs> There's stars next to ragtag fuckwits, saviors of Streatham, death defiers, and um, delving Didn't really hey, I'm putting anymore, two extra exciting. stars next to ragtag fuckwits. <laughs> um, Aranya? Yes. You, uh, as these people are still like in the thing. You are slowly see like all every keeper of the feather that was like a that was still alive in Barovia slowly gathers around you, and this is like a good group of like like thirty to forty people. Uh, I put the alcohol away out of all sight. All wearing these like <laughs> these like raven feather cloaks and having their hoods up, and they they all just like look at you, and all of them. Kind of like tilt like tilt their heads down as if like like like, like a half bow, and uh, one of them lowers their hood, and you recognize this to be the uh, tavern keeper of Valaki. Um, got told about your next objective. Given that, oh. We got told by our queen that you are to guide us till we can stand on our own two feet. So with that, uh, once we figure out a new name for this place, or what, we would like to appoint you to be till the queen needs you elsewhere. Uh, oh, uh, of, of course, but you need, um, everything can't be up to me, first of all, because I'm one person, but, um, if you're all willing to... We'll appoint your mayor, and you can pick a council of a few people that you, that helps you, assists you. I only really trust you all, if you'd be willing Aranya looks so overwhelmed. It's just like, what, if, what do I do? <laughs> but they're like, you can tell, like, they're gonna, you know, do the thing. But they're just like, mm -hmm. holy shit, what? <laughs> all responsibilities all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna whisper, Davian. Well, she could give it to us now. Stop. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you see anyone with a with like a spider web tattoo here, kill him. Immediately, without oh, let hesitation. Us know. Just get in touch. Let us know. I'm. Don't kill them. Arrest them. No, kill them immediately. Arrest no, 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 them. No, no, no. Killing them puts you know more Attention. eyes on you than you would need. So just let. I Can I maybe them. get more of a description than just a spider web tattoo? Uh, it's a spider web tattoo. It's like a an identifying marker for a group I'll of people fucking... that are uh, elaborate and not pissed off and. They're bad people. By no like, even player. by our standards. 
I mean, yeah, they're like Strahd, but in a big area, but like not as bad, but worse, because it's all underground. Don't worry about it. Not as bad, but worse. Well, because it's like they're not actively doing a lot of bad things, but also it's we don't know what they're doing, so it's you know. You're not selling Still, this. You should just. As much as I would like to co-op this teleport to where I want to go, I assume we're going to Eldalon or to. Yeah. I assume probably uh, Eldalon, right? Oh. Because we can get a teleport from Eldalon too. Well. I need a fucking bath. Yeah. Eldalon. But are we taking fight. Yorin back or not? No, no, we, gotta, we should turn the Yorin sites for a little bit. A few days to convalesce. Uh, we'll. Uh, we. Yeah. When we not got pressing shit, we will get the man on a boat because our dad's gonna beat the shit out of him. But on a boat, we can teleport him. We can pay for take him there and come back. I'm sure it won't be too expensive. You teleport, escort him, come back. Easy. I don't know if I wanna be there when our dad beats the shit out of him. That's not very nice. That's fair. That's I can. That's fair enough. No. You don't have to go all the way. We can always hire, like, someone to accompany you or something. We'll figure it out. We need a bath. We need alcohol. More oh, than no. I've got. I can't just walk around like that. And I have a proposition for the party when we're all settled. What's up? And, and no worries. You can wait till the end. Uh, a proposition? <laughs> You're not my type, but... Um, <laughs> you're a bit too young. Hmm. I... Hey Dutch, can I have a quick look around for a sec? Yeah. Um, can I see our house with legs? Can I see our house? <laughs> no, it's at, the, it's at the. Oh! It, it's at Strahd's place. It, uh, we, where we parked at the gate, right? I still have like. I have like the rock, I have the car keys on there doing like the unlock unlock. And then I'm like, like when trying to find it. The Raven Queen transported um, places here. She only transported places where people lived, and your house was very unoccupied at the moment. Oh, Aww, I miss the it. house we stayed live behind, there. unfortunately. We live there now. I, I, I look at it, and it's like, I just imagine that the glow is so like gone from it, that like, <laughs> because it's like out of range, and it's like. <sighs> it was so cool. It, it's Put okay, it we'll get you another house. Make it's not the same! More legs. <laughs> we'll make a new one, a better that one. Book that Jax no, can make a big house. Oh, no, uh, book, book, who's got the book? The, the straw book. Oh, the straw I'd, book. I'd like to keep it. Didn't Cass have it? I think Cass has oh, got it. Cass has got it. Because Cass is the one reading it. Let me, hold on. I don't remember oh, if she actually, palmed I it off. might have that whole. No, yeah, I think she palmed it off to Jax because Jax used oh, it once. Nice. It's either in what your bag of hold. Uh, the Tom of Strahd. Strahd, yeah. Strahd. The Strom of Strahd. Uh, Strahd, a biography. <laughs> Strahd, the out of the bite. <laughs> I do have it. Hey. If it's all right with you, I'd, I'd rather keep it under lock and key, so. You know, it doesn't pose any danger. If it still even poses a danger, I don't know if it would be in it. Sure. Uh, I don't have any use for it. I think I've read, we have read what we needed. I think. Cool. Um, I will also it over to Aranya. I will also go to Aranya. Oh, I suppose you probably want this back. And I, like, start taking off the holy symbol of Ravenkind. It's sort of one of your... Places. Yeah, if I don't get I to keep mine, you don't get to keep yours. All right. <laughs> find some. That's I mean, find somebody can use. Find somebody can use it. about it, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, I know. But it's still, their holy relic it's not mine. I don't think that was um, in character. It was not yeah, in character. I don't. Know. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> take it, and they don't really know what to do with. It. Like they almost want to put it on, but like they don't know if that's proper, so they just kind of hold it. Put it on. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, she literally was like steps away from giving you a high five just put it on <laughs> put on hope pretty so uh, did they put it on you and the angry looking fella you know just put it on 
Oh. And they very hesitantly do, but they don't like make any moves to attune to it or anything like that. They just put it yeah. on. Um, with that, kind of right. gather yourselves and you know, say your goodbyes to Aranya. I'm being. <laughs> um, the keepers of the feather do approach you again. You like us to take you somewhere? One last thing. And I uh <clears throat> go over to Aranya. And I hold out my hand to shake theirs. Uh they take your hand, but then they give you a hug. <laughs> yeah, that was that was what I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're both fucking losers. Cute. And then when we're done hugging it out, Devin takes a step back and firmly stands upright and salutes the shit out of Aranya. And then turns on his heels and walks back and rejoins the rest with the uh, cubes of the fellow. Give a wave to Aranya. Give one of those, like, high. Yeah, congratulations, congratulations for Mayor Aranya. Yeah, just... What would you say, Jax? Yeah. So three, three cheers, cheers for Mayor Aranya. All the, like, keepers of the feather, like, they, they cheer. Yeah. Like, clap. Give, give, give them, like, the huge, like, yeah! <laughs> they react very awkwardly to the salute, but <laughs> <laughs> they appreciate the gesture. Sorry, my boyfriend had called, and yeah. <laughs> How dare he? Oh dear. I know. Okay. Interrupt D and D. So, <laughs> where would you like to be transported? Uh, Elder one. Elder one. Weeping mug. Uh, we are we are we going weeping mug? Are we not going friendly giant? Could, before, either way. Go, could go to the carafe. <laughs> before we decide, I look at Davian and go. Um, hey, um, I can't. I hate to ask, but I kind of, I currently can't pick anyone else. And we're now in a place where I can't just walk around as a ghost. Well, I'm aboard. So. Go on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get in me. Hit, hitchhike in with Davian. I consent. <laughs> so, where do you guys want to go? Weeping Mug. Weeping mug. Weeping mug? That, that's three, so. I mean, the craft the cra is better than ours. So we can just go. It's fine. We'll They're all walking we'll distance from, from each from other. There. Yeah. Yeah, true. yeah. So, you eventually uh, die. All of you keep this top of your mind. And there's like a circle of like 15 keeps of the feather all like begin to surround you and begin chanting some words. And you all drift off to, you know, losing your consciousness. And then you wake up. Wake up in a small room. Got cramped for all of you because it's all of you, including uh, Yoren as well. And we go in a small room, you hear some music coming from downstairs. You reckon? Okay, so uh, anyway, they literally have a saint that failed to do what we just did. So <laughs> oh, really, if you think about drunk it. Drunk enough for this conversation. <laughs> why can't I rightfully hold on to the sunblade? To be fair, I feel like you earned it. That's right, right that's what life. I'm saying. You hear in your head, if they agreed, sure. But the point is you made a deal and they were well within their right to say no and that should have been the end of the conversation. I'm just deal. saying, after all we've been it. through, we could I'm have at sure. least had a little bit more reverence. I mean, okay. you know, before, before we did room. make a deal and, you know... Well, Devin, just... now that Aranya's mayor, we might have some leeway in like a few months to go back. And... I, I'm They're saying we go back, back in a couple months and we say, right, what's going on with fuck with us then? We're not, no, we're not calling that, please, no. That's I mean, just not our name. Really if we really fucking need it, it was right on the tongue. So, if no, we really fucking kind of, need it, we can just ask to borrow it for again. For sake of, uh, like, brevity, uh, as you yeah. all kind of, like, bicker about what you could have done, what you should have done, what you're going to do, uh, and, like, you know. Still in uh, this, like, closet. You, uh, <laughs> Question. Like, hold on. Uh, Holding? You, Lazarin, hear the Primus' voice in the back of your head one more time. Oh. Um. Oh, no. Forgot to mention, I have finished my work. 
Something with the crown that we got from the fucking yeah. woods. Oh, they can Although, uh, they, they can't. Spider boys. I will... So we can track spider The spider boys. scanner. Yeah. I will reply with exit news. We will see you in the morning. We need to rest up and we have right. some things to celebrate. How long has it been since we've been in Elvalon? Yeah, it is. No, because we were in the corral. Yeah, we were in the corral. We were in the corral. Yeah, 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 we Yeah, we went into like the the bottom. We on the twentieth. We met Morag. You haven't missed your auction so far. No, I know. I was just thinking. I was like, okay, so we have like a week to the auction, basically. Yeah. It's been three and a half. This is the fourth day, essentially. Yeah. Okay. When Eliza uses or replies to a sending or whatever. Does he does he talk out loud? Ah Technically, like no when I'm like replying. Okay. But when, when I cast it, yes, when I'm replying no, because it's in my brain. Like okay. the reply is nonverbal. Oh. Right, I thought you were done. That's I right. there was more to the explanation. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um what were you what were you gonna ask, Ethan? Uh does Euron bring his fucking chair with him? No, when we yes. teleported, like, because yes, he's not really it's using it, but um, yes. we're getting drunk and we're finding the nearest hill and we're going but, down. But um, with that sense, Downstairs? you spend. You know, we'll, we'll pick this up. Uh, do you want to like say, you know, you spend your day relaxing, drinking, celebrating, and all yes. that, then go to bed, and the next time you pick up. The next morning, or would you rather say we pick this up right here next time you play and then get to RP out your celebration? Um, pick this up right. Oh, I'm not here. I I think can it I, depends. Can I, I ask one arrest. quick question then? Because I'm not going to be gone potentially the next mm -hmm. two sessions. So mm -hmm. before, um, and again, this is just Diagon's voice coming out of Davian's body and be like, sorry, I know this is probably weird, um, but. I'm like, so Elazarin, I, I had a realization before mm -hmm. the Strahd thing. Because Kess is gone for a while. Yep. And my body is being stored in a place only Kess can access. So there's a high likelihood, depending on how many days she's gone, that gentle repose will run out. Well, I'll say from a meta standpoint that this is purely because Bell physically can't be here so we'll... uh, no i'm okay with it being a consequence like a, it, it can be character development if it happens and it's we like could just summon and... blue yeah i don't know I, I we'll talk about it behind the scenes i guess but i feel shitty about like forcing something like this purely because one of our players can't be you know what i mean we can fucking we can summon blue and ask him for the body right because the coin is right, so one time you you're like the sure, thing he gave us is a single use summon yeah but he can give us another one we, we don't that also oh sure. uh, 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 it's to die it's like yeah, hopefully she's not gone like, for like, you know, two weeks because your body could be a little bit decomposed. It'll be fine. Uh, hopefully this won't be some we can see. Okay. Come on, man. No, at that point, then it's weird. Then it's well, too gross. We'll, That's, we'll, we'll at that point, it's too we'll hard. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Personal <laughs> thigh tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> decomposed Would skin. I think prefer to pick to to start next session the yeah. day after just oh, because yes. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're already going to be we we as players are going to be detached from the victory so it's like yeah, yeah we'll, we'll we'll maybe like yeah, we'll pick up. I'm, come I'm up with a little spiel up. to like recap yeah, we'll have, what we'll the, like the events little, of the like, night before do, but right? yeah 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 it'll be a anyone got any quick like things like, yeah, yeah. No conversation like we'll don't need to do any like rp because it fully depends because obviously like if for example like if bell was coming back next week then i'm sure yeah we'll pick up from that day we'll figure it out Yes, so, um, that shed, we're gonna end it here. You all oh, no. made it through, uh, this pretty lengthy. This is the last one. Adventure, uh, traveling into Barovia, freeing Brooks's brother, beating Strahd, freeing people of Barovia from his corruption. They now reside within our world. Becoming their gods, uh, also, while we were at it. Oh my god. Ryer, you've been an absolute go. gem to have uh, guests uh, yeah. with us. Thank god they're gone. Fuck yeah. I hope hmm? you had fun. I'm I hope you enjoyed. I know we can all be a bit much. Uh, and by we, I mean mainly Sogo and Ethan. Uh, oh, you've been good today. Sogo is pretty low How key. is it me? 
I've been great. I am tame. Um, you know, I've been if, on my if, best if behavior. If the opportunity arises and you know, Branya uh, wants to ever make a return, if the story asks for it, you're more than welcome to rise that role if you're still up for that. Sure, yeah. And they, oh, that's my sister calling me. Um, they uh, also want uh, to keep in touch. So, like, you know, they know you know sending. If you don't, if you don't use sending, they're gonna be mad. <laughs> don't be lazy. Write us a lot of. Okay. Um, with that said, we'll be here again tomorrow. Oh, actually, before we leave off, double up. Let's go. Fuck Let's yeah. Go. Wait. Oh no. Dilemma. Time to roll the level up. <sighs> oh great. A, ma a massive oh, two roll the HP. dice, I guess. Four HP. Yeah. Uh, massive two. I need to decide what level. What I'm gonna. <laughs> I think too. I know what I'm gonna level in. Same. Real quick. I don't um, know. What am I right now? I'm gonna use my cheeky song three. Uh -huh. I rolled a two. Man! Uh -huh. two. I, I rolled a six. six. I continue to be squishy. <gasps> Yo! I broke a hundred, boys! Let's go! Let's go. Oh, he's nice. He's catching up slowly. Uh, that must you, be nice, yeah, bro. I'll as you roll you. long rest, by the way, make sure to revert to any max HP chip. That's what I've been uh, Okay, I'm I'm taking a level in monk because then I can uh, fucking un we fucking level up. charm myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Level five Sork. Right. Hell so yeah. with that said, we'll be here tomorrow for Baldur's Gate. And we'll be here Friday for a group discourse. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Pleasure. Uh, <laughs> next time. Briar. Hi. Uh, see you when we see you. Thanks for being here for all these weeks. It's been <laughs> fun. And uh, I'm sure this won't be the last time you'll be. Absolutely no. not. Absolutely not. I won't let it be. I'll pester you. <laughs> You'll be our like go-to like. And come watch our guests. Candela Obscura campaign on Briar's channel. Yes. yes. Do that. Do all of that. All of the above. Um, peace out, y'all. Yes. Have a good night. Hope. Uh, peace you out, y'all. Start your week off well. Boy. See you tomorrow for the Baldur's Gate. Bye. -bye. And I actually have to go. Go. We like, killed a vampire. Star was waiting for me. <laughs> so.